Movies Podcast, hey. episode four, yay, where we talk about video games, comics, anime, and that favorite time of the year, No Nut November. No Nut November! <laughs> so put away your head tie and your lotion, kids. Gotta hang it in there till For December. Daddy, I don't want it. <laughs> It's wow. going to be a rough challenge, boys, but we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. I'm liking this episode already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So sounding off, Jamal here. Uh, 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 Kevin. Mary, a.k.a. Satan. We got Lamp here. Zed, also known as Miles. Clea. You got Jacob here. You got Alex. All right. The gang is here. Full house today, y'all. Jumping right into it, we're going to get to the good stuff, the good juicy stuff. Castlevania Season 2. Ooh. Fucking amazing. I love it. Who wants to who wants to lead this? Who, who's the Castlevania uh, expert? Not me. Yeah, that'd be Kevin. That'd be Kevin. I, I want to say Kevin. Kevin feels be, like uh, the Castlevania expert. I mean that. Okay. Me a little bit. Yes, you are. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie to me. All right. So, Castlevania Season 2. Uh-huh. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, no, if... if they did well in this one. Mm-hmm. They, the one thing, you know, just to skip the history part of it, but, like, I know uh-huh. that people are going to complain that it's eight episodes mm-hmm. instead of being, like, I don't know what they expect, 13 episodes, some crazy number. Right, yeah, like typical anime. Because the, the first season was, like, four episodes. So I guess people might expect something longer, but it's just uh, this. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think it needs it. Because, I mean, well, we know the first one, the first season was intended to be a movie. And I think last minute Netflix was like, well, let's just turn it into a series. And so you got like four episodes from season one. And season two came out and they gave it a solid eight. But um, I, I thought it was fantastic, man. Hands down, probably one of the best vampire fight scenes I've seen since like Blade 2. <laughs> Amazing. With uh, with Alucard and Dracula going in at it. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, was dope too. And one of the things I like about that show is that, like, how they flesh out a lot of the characters and develop backstories for them, so you can kind of get a feel for them. And in that series, like, my favorite was Isaac, hands down. Me too. Isaac was amazing. You guys know who Isaac is in the yeah. show, right? Yeah, the, no, the black guy, the African guy with the bald head, yeah. Yeah. tattoos. Yeah. Awesome dude. He was, he was the best. So I like well, where they're taking him. So yeah. going back to the history, uh huh. Like Isaac, I think he's. I, I know he's. I think he's in the game. I don't don't remember. Uh huh. Gotta fact check somebody. Yeah, we'll Google yeah. it. We'll Google, Google it. Because like there is a character named Shaft, <laughs> and he was like a black bald dude uh-huh. who do who does magic and stuff. And so he's like the bad guy. I forgot which Castlevania is it, but I feel like that's him. But mm-hmm. I don't know if Isaac is like an actual character, and then the other ones from another <laughs> show or whatever. Right. So, you know, I, want, I, want, I can't wait to, for the second season. For the other season. The third, third season. One. Third season. Because yeah. they announced it. They've already announced their season. They've already three. announced it after. Awesome. Woo, yeah, woo. We want more. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. Give us blood. Great animation. <laughs> so, for people who don't yeah. know about Castlevania, uh huh. Um, what is it about? Because I haven't seen it. You haven't watched it yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it doesn't. Kevin. No, but it doesn't follow the. Well, it, it does follow the game, but not necessarily. So, I mean, just real quick, because I yeah. watched the both seasons, and I didn't play a lot of the games, maybe like one or two back in the day, old ones. <laughs> um, Dracula fell in love with a human. She Aww. was into, like, science and healing, so she was more like a modern medicine woman, I guess you would say. A doctor. That, a doctor, yeah, for that time period. And you know, back then, <laughs> you're doing modern medicine of any kind. That's witchcraft to them, to the, you know, to the Catholics or the priests or whatever. And so, yep. like, they eventually they caught her, burned her at the stakes, and so Dracula just, like, lost it, because she was the only person that, like, showed him love and compassion, and she, being a human, to him, that was strange, because he was like, what do you mean, humans are terrible, they fucking kill and destroy everything they touch, mm-hmm. and so because she showed him that love and attention, you know, he built this strong bond with her, and they burned her, they killed her, she told them, too, she's like, you know, don't get mad at them, they don't know what they're doing, they're humans. They're at fault. La la la. Because she kind of changed his his mindset of right. how she kind of 
She kind of tries to like, humanize him. Humanize him. Right. Right. What yep. they kind of explain. I think I don't know if they said in the first season, mm-hmm. yeah. but you know, Dracula's out around the world. You know, looking at other people, studying. You know how they are as a society. Right. You know, trying to make him fit in more. Try to be more understanding. But then you know, when he's gone, this happens, and what's the, for him? What's the point? And you know, he's just mad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She taught. She, she taught him how to love, and she taught him compassion, and then the humans caught her, they killed just him. So. It. That was it. When when she died, he, literally he died again. I guess I don't know. Again, <laughs> but he kind of did what classic the actual Dracula did. <laughs> what went, went, went crazy and started killing everybody. Uh, yeah, and that was it. And so he there's this big war going on with vampires and humans. He's destroying all the villages, and then that's just to kind of like catch you up. So everything in between, yeah. and the other characters get involved. Yes, basic basic Dracula wants to kill humans. Yeah, pretty much yes. sum it up. That's that's I pretty like much it. that series. Though. Anybody else watched it? Alex, yeah, yeah I watched you it. finished it. It's phenomenal. I, I saw it on one sitting. It was very yeah, good. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I wish you know it was a little bit longer because I want to savor all those good moments more. Yeah, you know that fight scene. I wish you just give me give me another two minutes. Of it. Oh, for real. That fight, yeah, like that that fight scene. That big ass like magic attack he does. <laughs> oh, Dracula, right? Yeah. That oh, like, was he, throws the, he throws the he throws the meteor. Oh, the yeah, spoiler, yeah. spoiler yeah. alert. He shoots a yeah. big <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. That was crazy. I mean, crazy. I mean you'll see it. It's kind of like yeah, you'll see it. We're not giving I you mean, the plot. Uh, I like me. how they brought in the Morning Star into the show. Yeah. yeah. For, the uh, Morning Star for Belmont. That thing yeah. is cool. Simon's Morning Star. Yeah. 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 Belmont's kick ass in that show, too, man. Just the fighting and it's crazy, dude. It's almost like watching an episode of uh, Avatar. Well, that's everything. There. No, the, <laughs> like the magic kung fu chick. and the the magic chick was dope. For her little, um, it's like, do, do, do. like <laughs> Doctor Strange fingers going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but one thing I like that they also like made fact in the show is like you know, mm-hmm. while well, the morning story, you know, I heard Dracula. He's like, I'm not, a, I'm not no ordinary vampire. Yeah, yeah. Because he throw it and blow, blows up his chest, but he didn't do anything. Yeah, he fell like, back and then he got up and he was like, "Yeah, that doesn't work on me." <laughs> Blew it all. Mild yeah. spoilers, but you know what? Spoiler alert! Too late. Who cares? You spoiled it. Jacob, did you you see it? Yeah, but it's uh, mild. It's mild. Okay, no, I didn't see it. Um, but okay. I've seen rough animations from the animators I follow on Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, same. Yeah, same. yeah. It's like it's pretty intense. I mean, um, going back to the question of if Isaac was in um, the Castlevania games. Mm-hmm. He was in this game called Curse of Darkness. I wanted to get back. To Curse, Curse of Darkness. Darkness. So, there, yeah. <laughs> so he was in the game. Okay. Oh, you took you not? Yeah, because uh, the show is loosely based off of the video games. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's where the origin of it comes from. And I they think just it's kind of flesh it out more. For I think it's Castlevania Three. Uh, yeah. One, one of them. There's a bunch one of them. Those. <laughs> it's, it's the first. It's the first game where it has three characters and you can uh-huh. pick which one. Right. Alucard. Uh, was that Belmont's name? Trevor. Trevor. Trevor Belmont. And okay. uh, the Cipher. C- Cipher. C- right. Okay. But that. But the. But Cipher in the game was. I think it was a man. <laughs> I don't know. I got. We got. We'll, 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 we'll Google. Google that stuff. But yeah, you get to pick three of them, and they go, and they take three different paths to go to mm-hmm. fight Dracula. To eventually get to Dracula. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Um, I love Dracula. <laughs> oh yeah, but I wanted to mention this, like, um, uh-huh. based on like, okay, so I follow the studio that does work on this, uh-huh. Powerhouse Animation Eight, um, okay. and the director Samuel Dietz uh-huh. and his brother, who's the co-director Adam Dietz. Okay. So basically, fun fact, um, I'm just pulling up right here on this Twitter feed. So basically, um, episode seven of Castlevania, mm-hmm. season two, you know, it was kind of like a huge shock heavy episode because it needed like. 631 shots Jeez. and they needed tons of animators mm-hmm. tons of animators to help out it was like a double well what i'm reading here is like 631 shots more than double the average per episode and they needed a team of you know amazing uh, artists and animators to complete it um so <laughs> so i know like a few of the animators i follow yeah i followed them when i was in high school just working on stick figures and to see them on this show, yeah, bro, it's crazy, incredible, man. Because let me tell you that, because like that was one of the issues I was looking at, because I know they were trying to get all their animators to work on it. Uh huh. And so when I watched the show, you kind of tell like, man, they need a lot of help to yeah. do a lot of this, because yeah, there's some, the fight scenes are great, but like uh-huh. the certain moments where like they walk on the stairs or whatever, mm-hmm. you could tell they. 
divvied up the ping rate because mm-hmm. it kind of jitters. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I see where you cut corners. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See where you cut corners. Yeah, because like throughout the, I mean, when they were working on season two, again, following them on Twitter, uh-huh. they were like sending ads, you know, they were sending, um, <laughs> I would say, job hiring. You know, yeah, we right. needed more action animators. We needed more storyboard artists. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need help because we want this season to be incredible. Yeah. And from my what, from what I've heard from the roughs animations, and mm-hmm. I don't want to see any scenes from it yet. But like from the rough animations to, I would say, you know, the general <laughs> like little scenes from what I've seen, it seems incredible mm-hmm. already. So my fa- you know, it's my favorite the lighting. The lighting, the lighting, the lighting definitely sets show. the mood. Totally agree with you. Lighting yeah. and that show. And I think you know which scene I'm thinking about. Yeah. yeah that scene lighting is... means everything. Yeah. That, the music, the whole ambiance. Well, well Jacob, <laughs> let me just tell you something. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it, <laughs> okay. but you just need to go see it. I will. It's going to blow you away. You're okay. going to be freaking out like you are when you get when you become like the hype man. <laughs> but I thought you. I thought you. You're gonna be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. no. No, the thing is, I was gonna watch it, but uh-huh. you know, I'm watching. I got so many shows so to many watch. Things packed in there. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm with you too. I'm still uh-huh. catching up on shows. That is true. Yeah. Did you get to catch any of the? Episodes? Yeah, I did. I actually started watching the first season. I got really curious, and I was like, wow, I really like this. So I kept on watching, it and I was able to watch. I think like a couple of episodes uh-huh. from season two, and I'm like, wow, I would really. Continue. <laughs> yeah, it draws you I in, really right? want to continue because I like you know I like those vampire stories and the werewolves and all that stuff. So I, uh-huh. it's something that you know it draws me in. I definitely recommend that show. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Ms. Isles. I think I pretty much said mine. <laughs> <laughs> like if I could I show you the amount of thumbs, like if I had like ten more arms, it would be that many thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Just go, just go see it. <laughs> why, why are you still doing here? Go see it. <laughs> Jovin's Lamp. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Mr. Lamp. Sensor. Mr. Lamp. All right. Um, I saw a hotel transportation. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. All right, next. Oh, Everybody talk about me. <laughs> next. Guess you are, this is right. <laughs> all right, all right, next. Hotel transportation. But did you, did you get to see any? No, of the I saw the first. I saw right. the first two episodes of the first season. That's when it first came out. So when you were talking about the whole beginning, I remember that. Okay. And it was good, but because it was like the first two episodes and it just came out, and you know how I am, I just sometimes I like to like let things load mm-hmm. because like I want to like binge watch it. But now we're in season two. Yep. So long. So <laughs> I better get on that. But it's, it's not but, long though. I know, but like, oh Christ! I've seen the anime. Like, I know the animation you were talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The chains. I've seen chains flying. Yeah, that yeah, requires. That's Belmont, yeah. That requires some animation, right? That's that, those are frames you right there, man. Yeah, man. Of course. No, actually, animation. You would oh, yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah. yeah, that's a pain in the ass. When people call this an anime, mm-hmm. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, but those full frames of animation for the action get get no, out of here. I'm yeah, sorry, we all. I love hero. Bro. I love hero. My hero. Uh-huh. But my hero is still an anime. He's still cutting corners. Yeah, right. Of course. And so you watch, you watch this, you see real animation right there. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Those those fight scenes, it doesn't do that weird like flashy skip jump that a lot of animes do to cut corners. Mm-hmm. But this one, it yeah, full fledged. You getting all the motions. You getting the chain whipping and wrapping across people. It's extremely yeah. detailed. I think it's probably yeah. one of the most detailed yes. shows I've ever seen in terms of animes from like from what I've seen. So right, right, right. Yeah. Right. I got you. Yeah. I have a question because when it comes to like anime, like I know you say it's not an anime or whatever, but when well, it comes to like, an- I mean that it's an anime, but like you're not comparing it to anime. No. But like, because it's like so detailed, do they have any CG in it? Um. Yes. 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 Mild CG. I would assume that. Very much. But it's very. very much. But the thing is. Well? But the thing is. Okay. The thing is, is that since this is made here, mm-hmm. they kind of know. Yeah. They kind of know how to do 3D. Since, since we, you know, we all went to school for animation. Right. We all know that we practice more in 3D than 2D. Right. So when you watch the 3D on the show, it's very seamless. It with is. The 2D. Very seamless. Okay, that's very good. seamless. That's good. Like, I didn't so, catch it the first time, but when they continued the shot, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, crap, that is CG. Yeah. I, was, I didn't realize it the first time. I yeah, saw like it. the yeah, castle. 
Like some of the parts of the castles, like the gears and things like that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like that's fine. That's that type fine. of stuff moving. Excuse me. And like the little crystal thing that Dracula looks into, like that little thing. Too. Yeah, the little. But it's not like so heavy where it just looks out of place. Okay, you know, sometimes yeah. they throw 3D and some 3D elements. I'm like, what is that? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, like in <laughs> anime, in anime, <laughs> because they're yeah, exactly. they're cheaping it right yeah, to mm-hmm. to save budget. They'll you get the actual 3D model, yeah. and it's not render with whatever 2D, 2D plane like or whatever yeah. texture they want to put. So they just give you this rough model and yeah. it's always going to look ugly. They give you the student version. They give you the student version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the student version. You, you yeah. zoom in on the texture, there's the, oh look, there's a Maya student. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you look closely, it's yeah, so a child slaving away. No <laughs> I'm doing it all on my own. I haven't slept in seven days. <laughs> and and That's the mm-hmm. Photoshop skills, you know on mm. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Photoshop, no, the, back, the, back, the backdrops. Yeah, Bro, yeah, like the scene. You just gotta see it. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it and you'll understand. Yeah, man, and it sure. is, and it's the cool thing about it too is that, so it's a two D world, right? And they all look how they all have like anime faces, mm-hmm. but when you see like pictures and portraits, they have hand oh, hand style painting, oh, so okay. they look like very Victorian. Yeah, you know, realistic. that's another that's thing too. Yeah, oh, they went just like out. the box art. They were yeah. for the games. Right, just like the box art for the games. It's super detailed. It looks like it's hand paint. You drew, yeah. Oh, that's nice. It looks like a straight up oil painting in the show. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, show I, I like, mm-hmm. like when they, or what is it, like the first Belmont who goes there? Yeah, you know, his the painting, first. you know, it looks like you, you can see like the strokes in there and all that. Yeah. 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 So it looks really cool. good, dude. But you didn't, you didn't get to watch it, did you, Miserable? She almost. You did. just like Dracula and the whole scene. I like Dracula. I like vampires. I like the dark <laughs> type of. Thing. Oh, trust me, you. Yes, you're yes. gonna. You'll appreciate this show. There is. I blood. did see clips. Uh uh-huh. You know, like people getting their heads cut off and right. blood coming right. out, and you they know, and I can stuff. tell that I would love it because <laughs> mm-hmm. of the color scheme and the whole uh, drawing style, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, work, it's life. Yeah, just find some time. Yeah, whenever you get time, short first season's four episodes, second season's eight episodes. When you got a good solid like three or four hours, not even tops out mm-hmm. of the day, just sit down and run. You can run through both of both seasons. For real? Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, a, it's like a movie. It's like an hour. Yeah, yeah it's really like watching just two movies. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how good it is. Uh, one thing I like to say though about uh-huh. the show that threw me off the whole like little inner vampire politics thing, I enjoy that a lot more <laughs> than I expected it to. Yeah. Yeah, the rivalry can, between the vampires like, and the nations that come. You thought that part would drag down, but it actually it some, worked. It worked, and it worked. and it yep. credit to the people that are doing the story, uh huh, and not following like the game or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's that's why that's why this show works really well because it's not trying to be a video game adaptation. It's trying to be a, a show, yeah, trying a to have a story. Right. Cough, cough blood rain. <laughs> oh God, blood rain, please. It has a <laughs> or the bayonetta anime. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, I'm not doing that. Seven. 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 Soul Eater has anime too. I mean, no, not Soul Eater. God Eater. God Eater. God Eater. Yeah, yeah. God Eater. Yeah. I was like, Soul Eater is its own thing. Right? Well, the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul Eater is great. I think God, God Eater. God Eater is a little different because it's, I think, it's like Monster Hunter. Yeah, it's like Monster Hunter. So that, because in the game, there's not actually a story. So the the anime gives it a story, and then I guess which God Eater we're on now. Like, Three, four. This movie. one follows like the anime story. Oh, oh so wow. the new ones follow the anime that came out. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah. And that's actually okay. gonna be released in the West soon. Yeah, yeah the new, early, the new got here, right? Early in the PlayStation. Year. Yeah. And was it didn't the? Son of the... I don't want to drag this up, <laughs> but didn't that show technically get canceled on episode ten? But then they just released the last two to get it over with. They're probably. Yeah. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I think I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool game to check out. All right, so we don't stray too hard. Uh, Goblin Slayer updates. Anybody's been keeping up with that? Yeah. <laughs> on the last well, podcast, we uh, so touched on it. Well, <laughs> Lamp. Hey, Lamp. Let's go, Lamp. Let's hear it. All right. So, Goblin Slayer. 
Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, don't drop it yet. It's still going strong. It's okay. not as, you know, visually graphic <laughs> as the first episode was. Or, like, like, you know, like, information heavy as the second episode, but it sort of has this plot going. Okay. Like, it's throwing, like, straight to a, towards, like, an actual story so we can know where Goblin Slayer is going next. Um, yeah, I mean, only two episodes came out. Um, we got, like, a few new characters introduced. Mm-hmm. We got... You mean to, four? Oh. Four. Four. <laughs> four episodes four. came out. Oh, right. well, the so, fifth yeah. one came out today, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Five fifth today. episode came out today, though, but okay. I didn't see the fifth episode. Yeah. I was watching the first. I was watch the third and the fourth. Um, wait, what were they? Oh yeah, <laughs> God, like, God, the, God, uh, um, <laughs> they introduced. Well, they introduced the three characters second episode, but we got to meet them fleshed out. We got a lizard man. A lizard man. To, yeah, he yeah. wants what? to be a dragon. I need to start watching. We got an elf. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. We yeah. got the elf. We How, got, does uh, the elf look of age? She. Mm. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, what was that? Oh, oh, she's two thousand years old. Oh, she, 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 she looks. She looks regular. <laughs> <laughs> In U.S. terms, she is fifteen. All right, she looks fifteen. Oh, okay. She look. Oh, she looks. 15. She looks. But she 15. is two thousand years old. Oh, she's so okay. So, we so she. Eight. So what you're saying is she's legal. <laughs> Oh, by look, Japan and Japan. Standards. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, oh, At least she doesn't look like a child like the priest. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. So she doesn't look like the lowest yeah, priest. Right. Yeah. Or it isn't as bad as in how not to summon demon lord. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Back on top. Yeah. Back on top. <laughs> we briefed on that last. Got him. <laughs> oh lord. And they also introduced the uh, uh-huh. what's the name? The dwarf. 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 Yeah. Okay. So like they're on this mission now for like a demon king showed up and now he's like wrecking havoc and getting ready for a big war and they, they came to the goblin slayer to see if he could help out but he only slayed goblins so it's like like his his character is like so one dimensional it's like I'm here for goblins I'm here for that's it he said don't you care about the fear of the world no I'm no. here for the goblins alright like I mean he has a good point too because like while everyone else is worrying about like, the whole demon king thing uh huh like, he has to worry about the little people, too. Like, right, the villages yeah. that's getting ransacked by the goblins mm-hmm. that's coming through. Keeping their numbers in check, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. like, in a way, he's still doing his, yeah. his, his part. That's, yeah, what, that's, his what's, part. that's mm-hmm. what's kind of funny about it is that even though he's, like, one-dimensional, mm-hmm. but you kind of root for him because he's for the little people. Exactly. Because everybody gives him shit because all he does is slay goblins, but he's helping villages mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, villages and people that need help that nobody... Whatever. Right. What What do you want to add? I want to. I just want to add one more thing. Uh-huh. I mean, there's There's an anime trope. Like this is why. Sometimes I have like an iffy feeling when I come when it comes to like new animes. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's this one trope that I cannot stand. Oh boy, anime. here we go. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, Alex, you play Fire Emblem, right? Yeah. You know Camilla? Yeah. Oh, that's actually something I wanted to bring up with Nate for showing her character. Was it episode three? I it think was it was. Three, yeah. who, who are we talking about? So um, there's, there's this, this, there's this uh, or, or. nice mage caster character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she looks right. she well in there. Describe her for us. Oh, I know what you mean. She's got a she's yeah. got a little smoking pipe and she's got some some big old melons. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is she she's thin? the melon trope. She's she, the melon she trope. She's thin but thick. <laughs> so if she leans over, she's gonna fall. Yeah. yeah. Very tough. So I, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the design, not the design choice, the, the voice choice of this character was, but Bro. the way she talks, I I don't really dig it. Yeah. It sounds like she's going to sleep. <laughs> like she'll she'll say things in such a slow way, you can't tell if she's like high out of her mind <laughs> or like she's got some kind of like speaking issues. Like right. I, I don't know what so, it is. For y'all, for y'all so. elitists that like sub. You got some bad choices as well. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I haven't, I haven't watched it though, but in sub it is one of my like my biggest like gripes about the show. Her voice. Her voice. She yeah, sounds like weird. the sloth from Zootopia. But you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. But, but you know, you know, not just that. Like a lot uh-huh. of the like the screaming parts, especially like from the first episode, but like mm-hmm. continue on. It's like there's a lot of screaming. Like jeez. Man, they, they put money into they, the they, they, they let you know that, you know. Do they, they take lessons from know. screamo bands? <laughs> <laughs> no, because they don't scream like that. They scream more like, like, if you watch this and nobody sees 
nobody sees the picture, <laughs> and somebody's walking down the hall, they'd be like, What are you watching? Jacob in his house. Boy, what the hell are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> no, in my house, my house is echoey as fuck. They'd be like, um, Your parents will think Can you, you lower somebody. that down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Watch another your thing that kind of bothered me in the show, though, uh-huh. was uh, when she's talking to the little priest girl, I get, you know, it's a comment to the little girl, you know, she's got a very underdeveloped body. Uh-huh. And she, you know, she's focusing on this lady. lady's main assets. So, you know, she's looking up and then she's looking down and up and down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. The, that. the shot was just straight up her tits. Yeah. <laughs> the shot was just on her we don't tits need for her. like that's a minute. A, that's a character trope. That, exactly. That's I hate trope. those. I, yeah, I know. They're just throwing fan service. It's just It doesn't add it. anything. Right. It doesn't add anything. It's just like that fairy tale song effect. Uh, All right, wow. back on track. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But it doesn't have that effect. It yeah, just, it does. Yeah, I think you shut the lamp off. He don't even want to hear about no, fairy tale. Still, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 lamp. Lucy. <laughs> all right, we, all we right. can talk about tell another day. Yeah. All right, back on topic. Back on topic. All right, so I mean, Goblin Slayer. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't update on it. I was too busy watching Beautiful Castlevania. So Thank God. <laughs> I think I spent my time wisely. You so say, far. yeah, yeah. You, you, you choose wisely. You choose wisely. When, when I get a chance, I'll, I'll go back and watch it. But it's not bad. Trust me. Like that's <laughs> the only trope. But it's not. It's not a bad series. It's going somewhere. Just give a few. It, it's this is good. I All think right. I think it's falling pretty well to the manga. Uh-huh. I'd have to like reread the first few chapters again to see, but I think it's falling along pretty well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Clea. Well, I actually started watching the show to see like what was the big deal, like what's the like thing the about whole it? hype about it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I messed the up hard. <laughs> Welcome to our world. Uh, which episode did you get to? I was the first one. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, I like these characters. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> uh, like yeah, we said last mind. time, throw away characters. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ, they were pretty brutal. Yeah. Jesus. Well, I watched it today. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, all right. I watched it today, oh, really? a couple Please. a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> and your perception of Goblin Slayer? How do you? Well, um, well, it's definitely not for everyone. Yeah. Uh, it's something you gotta you gotta figure out if you like. First. Yeah, I agree. Do, do your uh, research. <laughs> If you don't like rape, then do not watch it. No, that's a hard R, boy. That's a hard R. I mean, Kevin is raising his hand. But it's there. It's there. So uh, yeah. you got to know about it. And yet Kevin warned y'all last time. Kevin, put your arms down. It's real Honestly. cringy. Mm-hmm. Put it down. Very cringy. Yeah. Honestly, it's just uh, one of those things like, are you fine with very violent sexual assaults? Yes, no. Yeah. And then there you go. Right, I like simple, gore. Simple. I just don't like rape. I mean, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a choice. No, 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 no. Oh, Other than sick, and I'm gonna say this very blunt. Other than sick fucks, who the hell likes red? <laughs> edgy for the edge lord. There's there's liking it because of the extremeness of it. I'm talking about the show. Right, and then they throw that right. in there, and you're like, okay, this is disgusting, this is gross, and I want to watch it, but I understand that this is the way the story is. Right, that yeah. It's yeah. this dark. Right. Yeah, yeah, that it's, like, it's like we're not gonna throw some shade over here so you don't see this. Like, now here's the whole bag of tricks. Yeah. yeah. You know, like they think that's bad. They they haven't even seen the four the the second elf that they show in the show. Oh, oh, oh my god. What? We'll oh boy. <laughs> what? It's it. it's the episode watch. from last week. So yeah, my my oh, yeah. minor minor oh. spoilers, but. Yeah, I, 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 I think what she had was a lot worse yeah, than what they showed in episode. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So Jacob takes a shower in holy water after he watches this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing that's a no for you. No, it's a no for me. Yeah, me, no. I prefer I, me. I prefer Castlevania. But that's just me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got I'm her. just saying that's that's, that's my type of stuff. She prefers beautiful. I think I'll go in for that. I'm not into the rapey stuff. No, thank you. Hard R. Plus rape. Hard R. That R. And then eight. <laughs> Plus, a lot of a lot of that show is very comical, a little bit of points because it is following the anime trope line. Right. So you have of a lot everything. Goofy, typical. Yeah. Goofy. You know, That's not scary. Then, then it cuts to violent assault. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. What? That's, not goofy. <laughs> that's not goofy at all. It has it has zero impact on me. That's not that's not cute. <laughs> 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 not, I mean, it's just it's the tropes. It's, it's, just, a, it's just tropes. Uh-huh. It's just tropes. But but what? If you can enjoy it, 
Yeah. It's actually, it gets good. It's, it, yeah. It gets good. It's not, it doesn't beat you all over, the, uh, mm. it doesn't beat you in the head with the same stuff over and over. Yeah. Right, so right. They're not trying to enforce it. Yeah. And, okay. and Goblin Slayer does get a personality. Yeah. It's not much, but it's a little. He starts to... Okay. Yeah, he start, he's starting to open up a bit. With his yeah. crew. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. So that'll, that'll, that'll definitely draw me back in to check it out. Yeah. See you what can goes. see that the little priest girl, you know, tries to bring him, you know, more out, like, like being an actual adventurer. Mm-hmm. But I think the everyone in that group, you know, tries to make him more of an adventurer than just the goblin slayer. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right, so we're, we're, we're good on goblin slayer. I just slayer. want to say one no, go ahead. Yeah. thing. All right, throw it, throw it in there. The main character, the priest, I, I don't know her name. I forgot her name. Who gives a shit? <laughs> she, she has a love interest for a man. Mm-hmm. Another anime trope that I hate. Mm-hmm. The main character falls in love with the main female protagonist. And mm-hmm. there's like literally no chemistry. It's Ooh, like, yeah. I walk into a judge and my friends got raped. They're dead. You threw piss on me. I love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> because like, she's... She's over here touching him, fondling him, looking him dead in the eye. Hold, hold on, hold up. I mean, hold you, I have a serious question. I think question. that's admiration. I mean, uh, well, I, mean, the, I, maybe, I don't she, know. Maybe she's just admiring. Yeah, I, you know. hope, I hope that's the case. I hope what? I'm wrong. <laughs> like, but, but admiration <laughs> can turn into love. Like, there you yeah. go. <laughs> that is a very serious thing to say. You know, I mean, she just falls in love, but you know. Maybe she feels more indebted to him because, you yeah. know, he yeah. saved her yeah. life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of factors that I have to take in, but, like, right now I feel like love, and I'm just, I just want to avoid that. <laughs> I'll, take well, these, I'll take these well, others, so. Well, because that's true, because yeah. sometimes that's the worst trope of all, because they do that all the time. Uh, yeah. Traumatic effects can sometimes give you false emotions. Yeah. Um, maybe sure. that's yes. what it is. Yeah, but this no. is anime we're talking about. I don't know about that. I know, but you never know. When when it, it, you never know. When they just say, here's bullshit. <laughs> when it comes, yeah. True. When it comes to True. relationships, it's yes. just an anime. It's like, hopefully <laughs> the person that's writing it, the creator, gets How love works. what <laughs> love works. <laughs> Naruto. Gets what <laughs> love works. <laughs> Hey. Not, gonna, not, gonna do it. not gonna do it. Kevin's so salty about that. Hey, I am too. I am too. I, 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 I need to drink a lot. <laughs> All right. Kevin, calm down. I, like, smoke I, I think we here. beat Goblin Slayer down to dirt. <laughs> yeah, it it yeah. seems like it seemed like lap segment <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> Work? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> no, it's good. That's good. It's okay. We still I'm love. Glad it. you definitely. I mean, lap pointed out the your true feelings. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's go into since we're talking about. Witches and demons. Sabrina. Yes. Go ahead with some. Yes. Did you, did you watch it? I watched a couple episodes, at least the ones that I was able to watch, uh-huh. and I personally, I loved it. Like, I really, I really like Sabrina's character. Like, she's the type of person that I would personally like to have as a friend. Uh-huh. I, I mean, I know that sounds a little bit over out there, but like, uh, I just, I just like her overall character and like. Everybody seems to be pretty likable, and I don't know. Just again, that's just I just really like. <laughs> what? I'm just looking at Lamb's face. But continue, please. Keep continue, continue, please. Oh, and I mean, he'll tell us why he's making this. Face. Oh boy. <laughs> well, go ahead, go ahead. well, I mean, basically that's it. Like I really, I just really like the characters. You know, it's mm-hmm. enjoyable. I like the scenery. I like the atmosphere of it, and I. I recommend it to anybody if you know if you're into that. I recommend it to you, Satan. <laughs> There's a lot of Satan There's in there, so I am there we go. I'm ready to watch. So I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Jacob. But, uh, this ain't your episode. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, I need to go to my car. Right cough, now. cough, hell, Satan. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that that's that's the topic of discussion for this show. <laughs> Let me pull up my Bible. My <laughs> Bible. <laughs> We have a future boy. There's an app. Yeah, the There's an app. Which version of the Bible are you reading? <laughs> oh, the good news translation. Oh, oh, oh boy. So, false preaching. <laughs> false preaching? Bro? Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, now, now. Lamp, the face oh. you were making while oh. she was talking about how great Sabrina is and her friends. Oh, boy. How do you feel about the show? How you talk? All right. The, the contrarian. Teams. It's okay, like the characters, hell, I can't lie. The characters, they're made well so yeah. far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So far, like the first three episodes, well, I saw the fourth episode too. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I mean, like, the first three episodes were, like, pretty good. They were pretty good. I don't think I would want them to be my friends, though. They're, like, they're, like, really... No, just Sabrina. I'm not talking about, like, the majority. I'm just talking about, like, Sabrina. Because oh, okay. I like her, I like like her, her character. Her, yeah, her character is, yeah. like, pretty okay. down to earth. She's yeah. pretty basic. She just wants to, like, fit in. with Not really fit in, but, like, she just wants to be her. She's and a this, like, this whole, There's a lot of freedom in this show. There's a lot of speech about... You know, multiple choices and mm-hmm. um, being a woman and being who I am. And okay, you know the the um, the the chick who I thought for the longest time was a dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Susie. Like she's anime uh, anime trope. <sighs> <laughs> what are you trying to say about it? What what don't you like about her character? I I don't have the words right now. Her character is trash. It's <laughs> no, no, no. It's not trash. It's just no. she's, there. She's there. It's like she's there for being a victim. For being a victim. Yes. Okay. She's just like like a DLC. She's oh. a DLC. So like I think the main characters or like the group, mm-hmm. whatever should have been just Sabrina, her boyfriend, mm-hmm. and the witches, and that's yeah. it. I mean the the her other two friends are like good with characters and stuff, but they just feel like add-ons. It's, mm-hmm. Right. Kind of have fill the space, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's just, like, I guess filler. That's the, They're filler characters. So, like, just like fill the gap between like all the witch stuff and her and human her life. Normal life. Gotcha. So, like, to, like, to, to, like, create that tension of like whether or not she wants to be a witch or yeah. stay a full blown human. And mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to go into spoilers, but like, it's Sabrina, guys. If you've seen the TV series, you know, you know how it goes. Wait, 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 her, her, cat, her cat talks. <laughs> no, Salem Salem Salem's, a, Salem's a beast. He's a legit yeah. yes, beast. He is. Yes, I saw yes. 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 And he he is he's like a a non pale slender man, like really tall. <laughs> he's like, he's like sort of beiges. And he has like sort of like a stitched face and smile and all that. Like he's like a demon. He's like creeping with like long ass fingernails. Yeah. And then he takes the form of Salem. And yeah. There was gotcha. this one scene when there was in like the you seen the one where there was in the the maid when she was trying to get the apple. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. bruh, the scarecrow, the scarecrow. Like, was running at her. <laughs> and then saying, I'm like, I was like, yo, Sabrina, I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know what kind of plot armor you're gonna pull up, but you better get it. <laughs> Salem came in, whoosh, I'm like, oh Salem's a beast. <laughs> yeah, Salem, yeah. Salem's like, yeah. come, like the thing is like Salem from the T from the old TV shows. Uh-huh. He was like more of a comic relief, you know. Yeah. Right. He was a meow. Like he was meow. The original meow. <laughs> he was the yeah, original meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like in the series, he's more of a like they have like this thing called like a contract. I forgot what it's called. Where like you make a contract with a, a with familiar? a demon, a, demon. A, familiar. a familiar, a familiar. There we go. Yeah. Familiar. yeah. Familiar. So you make a contract with a familiar, like to gain I a familiar. familiar. But like, oh, but she. <laughs> but it's like it's not. But it's like sort of like a like a Dobby thing from Harry Potter. Like, okay, there's gotcha. a, like a slave that's supposed right, to be, right. but she made like a contract like, I got your team. back, right. you got my back. Yeah, yeah. That's how it is. Because in the show, minor spoilers, like she she was supposed to get familiar and she was already got a book of like which ones to pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she decided not to do that because mm-hmm. there were like, uh, in that in that world, a, a traditional familiar it's like a goblin that transformed into an animal. Yeah. Yeah. Going back to goblin. <laughs> <laughs> and, but she didn't want that. So she went out and tried to find, you know, help on this sign. I'm like, who wants to be my familiar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what yeah. 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 She did. Yeah. That's pretty good. I definitely going to keep watching it then. I mean, I saw episode one and then I started into episode okay. two. I don't know if I saw episode three or not. I probably need to go back. But, I mean, yeah, I like the whole darker approach that they're taking on it. And yeah. they're yeah. trying to stick more to, I guess, the graphic. The books. 2014 uh, re- reimagine of Sabrina. Okay. So that's where they're kind of yeah. pulling it from? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I can definitely see that. So, it's, it's cool. But, um, I'm all about production value. And it's there. Yeah. Oh, Excellent good. production value. Oh. Can you believe this is WB television? I know, right? Well, and the, and the yeah. production value for yeah, this, this is, show? This is WB. That's what I said earlier when I saw when I saw half that. Yeah, episode. when it begins, it shows you the logo. Oh yeah, I forgot. I mean, the, the production on it is is awesome, and a dark series at that too from from WB to be that graphic. I'm oh. impressed. But it is on Netflix, so I think that's where they're kind of getting away with it. Yeah. They don't have to put it on like the regular network television. Mm-hmm. They got to meet a lot of guidelines. Yeah, but TV 14. Yeah. yeah. So like, so Netflix is definitely letting a lot of these companies 
creative freedom. But not just that, the show has a budget. You mm-hmm. can see it mm-hmm. compared to another show we're going to talk about. Ugh. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. If it moves no, but I'm saying like this 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 show has a budget. Right. And the only awful technical part of it is mm-hmm. the they have this effect where they make things blurry. Oh, I hate yes. it. Yes. That, hate that. What was that one? It works when they have creepy shit going yeah, on. But, mm-hmm. they have, like, but like they did the scene shot. with like the, it's just her and her boyfriend and talking and they just blur everything out. Like was that supposed to yeah, it's like, like it's supposed to transition to something. Yeah. Like yeah. they're supposed to focus on the characters, but it just makes it awkward. Like you notice more of the background. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know what the, what's the point with that though. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe when they're getting ready to do the next season, I don't know if they've already moved to another season or not. But uh, we'll probably see some changes. Pop- the popularity of this one. Did, did you get to watch any of it? No, it's but like, I did um, see. I did uh, do some research. Uh huh. And I saw the trailer, mm-hmm. and I saw a couple clips of it, and uh, well, I love the, I love the whole theme that they're going for. Yeah, the dark yeah. theme. Very I love nice. it. Very I love nice. it. I love how they hail Satan. <laughs> All the time. Favorite, the aunts, favorite part. The aunts hail Satan. The aunts hail Satan. Satan. Every, 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 it is so Yeah, the aunts funny. are very creepy. <laughs> I love it. And you know what I heard? Uh-huh. That supposedly a uh-huh. satanic church is suing them. Suing the show? Really? What? Yeah. For, for what? Why are they suing for, them? For, for Satan? using for Satan. For using Satan in their show. Satan is copyrighted? Satan is copyrighted. It has a seat. It has a seat. Oh, wait, wait. Is it, is it because of the whole satanic uh, themes? Or is it yeah, because, because um, of the they're satanic. making them look bad or something like that? I don't, I don't know why. I just... Oh, yeah. I saw it. I didn't look <laughs> into it anymore. Much. I was this just like, fun. what the heck? And I just... I passed by it. But it was super funny. I just had it. I just had to mention it. And you know, you guys can go out and Google it and see. Yeah, I'm about to look that story. Yeah, up. look that it up crazy. and see what. O- only in 2018, it's millennial <laughs> Satan worshippers yeah, are they too were sensitive too. that a TV show can't even talk about. But yeah, that's my favorite Satan. part. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. And I like the, the snowflake way... Satan worshippers. Isn't that <laughs> wow, I thought the end of the world was coming. Uh, yes, it's not. <laughs> snowflakes are everywhere. They're offended. I am offended. Snowflakes I'm offended. Satan should be treated respectfully. <laughs> it's crazy. Hell Satan. <laughs> Isn't that's, that's I wild. thought they would be happy because you know they're portraying. Everybody they have a, a show portraying everybody Satan. Everybody has something going on. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. The Christians should be mad. Of yeah. course, I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait there, I'm not even talking. <laughs> yeah, but, see, but like that though, you probably you just be like, ah, not for me, not my type of show. Did you you, you just it? avoid it. Now I'm just ain't gonna watch it. Mm-hmm. So what well, she was talking about them, it uh-huh. was Satanic right. Temple suing Netflix over Sabrina's statue design. Oh, so, oh the statue, the statue oh, okay. of Bahamut. Yeah, Which statue is it? Yeah. Oh, the one yeah. that's cool. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen the show. See okay. yeah, the go- you know the goat one with the, the horns and the, the typical. Yeah, yeah, the Bahamut. Bahamut. Yeah, the Bahamut. Bahamut. I've, I've only cool, right? seen a little bit. So, I, what was the statue? Yeah, oh. yeah, the, the Bahamut. Bahamut. You know the, the goat with the horns, the wings, and all. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. this design, they're suing them over. I see. Because of because it's kind of their design, they kind of made. So that church designed that. That's all profit. Okay. Well, okay. I can. I can. Yeah, I, guess. I guess. All right. I guess. They want to make a dollar off of it. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were angry because they were portraying Satan. No. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, that. that's, that's, that's even that's worse than. <laughs> Thank I know for a second Satan's. I thought they were offended. Or <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's weird. Whatever keeps that makes out. sense. I know. All right. Anybody want to add on Sabrina before we? Get to the meat and potatoes of this part. Yeah. I <laughs> wish Salem spoke. That's that's all I'm gonna yeah. say. I'll play from the crack well, wise show. And I was like, well, I why he talking? In, the, in that lost. comic, in, the, in this new comic, he does talk. So. In the new comic, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, don't maybe know. next one. the last episode. Okay. He says, "Hello." Last episode, he goes, "It's all folks." It is. All right, Warner Brothers. It is Warner Brothers. And then he had to sing in front. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Satan, Satan, Satan's like, it, 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 it's all folks. Hell, Satan. Hell, Satan. Oh, my God. They can do a crossover oh, with him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's yeah. Such a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you for saying, Jesus. All right. all right, all right. But we're going on our tangents because you know it's about to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to it. That's what I want to talk about. Oh, boy. Damn, damn. Oh. Oh. Another table. 
season. Well, no, nah, this is different. <laughs> I know, I know. If you've seen the show, you know this is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, Jake. Daredevil season Dang three, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, so, I loved it. What's so up? I want to get out of the way now. I know everyone here is going to spike me for it. I'm about to punch you. Go ahead. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What did he say? What did he say? He hasn't watched Daredevil. Of all the Marvel okay. shows, I haven't watched Daredevil You can yet. step out right now. But this is like the best. like four people. I guess we're all leaving. I guess so. I okay, guess so. you know what? No. You're lamp. We can understand that. You, damn, whatever. <laughs> Alex, out. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't like it. You know. Have you watched any of the Netflix Marvel shows? I don't know. Yeah. Like you I saw watched, Luke Cage. I've seen all of them except Daredevil. I don't know why I haven't <laughs> gone to that one yet. Son, Dare, for Daredevil is the best out of all. Yeah. It's the best Marvel show to exist since today. I don't think there's any other Marvel show that has ever come out. I definitely yeah. agree. Fight season, everything. No, season one. You, I don't know, man. You, I hold production. I hold Luke Cage season one to very high standards. So, I don't no, care. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I like Luke Cage too because they have Wu Tang Clan in it. But look, <laughs> <laughs> no, Daredevil yeah. is. I'm I'm biased because I've always been a Daredevil fan since a kid growing up. I've been a huge Daredevil fan, so yeah. I'm already biased towards this show. And the fact that it's the best out of all of them <laughs> just makes it even better. Well, like well, right, look, uh, what? 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 Sit down. So, you can damn sure we <laughs> talking about Iron Fist. Go in there with that, with that, that, that fifth grade kung fu black belt he got. Yeah. Like, I'm glad his show got canceled. Go ahead, like all I all I gotta say is like I totally agree with you because mm-hmm. you know me. I like Punisher. I, mm-hmm. I rewatch that 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 series all the time. Yeah, because I'm, I'm waiting for season two. 2019. <laughs> but seriously, like, even when they introduced him in season two, I mm-hmm. was just so hyped for him. I yeah. I still like Daredevil more during that show. Yeah, for and real. And then you see, and then you see season three, and I'm just like, mind blown. <laughs> the so, fighting was amazing. Yep. The story just felt fledged out. Yep. This oh my was... god. Yes, and. <sighs> Kingpin, Fisk, oh, holy man. crap. This show was amazing for having no budget. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no yeah. budget. Yeah. Nothing. They, they had a budget in the first season and they just reused all the props. Yes. they. For real, man. Right. You only have what? Fisk's house? The church? <laughs> That's it. That's and, and the apartment. And the, and the apartment. apartment. And one guy's house. And the guy, that one guy. Yeah, but that was that was probably they, they probably Nadine. like, hey, we know you guys are renovating this place. Can we just shoot at your house? Yeah. yeah. And then the little prison shots that they had. And the prison, prison shots. shots. But that was it. That's that where the it. show revolved around. But they made it work. Man. It's called yeah. good yeah. storytelling. Yeah, yeah. that's what? good storytelling. You don't worry about all that extra stuff. Yeah. Like, and they uh, fixed season two. Impressive. Yeah, they did. They they kind of doubled back. And they and, and they say season. what defenders who. <laughs> what? <laughs> they did reference. They did, they did reference Jessica Jones. They did. Refer- yeah, there's a quick like Jessica Jones Easter egg thrown in there. How many episodes done. is there for season twelve? No, no, there was thirteen. Thirteen. 13. All of them are thirteen. All yeah, of them are thirteen. Okay, and they're an hour piece, man. So yeah. and they are down. well I think worth it. They're worth it. Though. I might skip some reading tomorrow to watch. Start watching that. <laughs> no, hey, do what you must. Hey, yeah. you <laughs> must. I'll put Daredevil over any show at this point. Boy, god dang. So I'm, I see I, that trailer for season four. I'm, it's like if it comes out this month. Sorry, no, no, no November. No, 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 no. But the thing is, like, I, I'm sorry, but like, you mm-hmm. you look at all the other Marvel movies. I mean, series, uh-huh. and then like the ones in in ABC. You oh, look yeah. at the one, and then you look oh, at Shield. Yeah, Agents of Shield. And then you look at the ones you know by DC. Right. And I'm like, I'm sorry, like, Sons. nobody, no nothing, and they got and they got you hooked. With the action and everything, nah, sorry that that show that's the best superhero. Plus the TV new show of all time. Was like, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, what the two villains? Yeah, well, yeah, because you got oh, yeah, yeah. Fish, the two villains, and you got Point Point Dexter in season three, oh, agent god. named Point Dexter, and yeah, they, he becomes that the, guy the villain. was crazy. Insane. Let me let me see. okay. Let me, I got I got. I mean, go crazy. Guys, got nothing on my rant. Go ahead. Right. Right. I've been right. waiting for this. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Uh, look, first of all, in this show, the symbolism <laughs> alone in it, I'm going to just throw this out there for anybody who caught it or not, uh, but Daredevil was, was Jesus Christ, pretty much. He yeah. was no, the show. no, no, he, he really was. Yeah, it was, the, was. it was the rise and the fall. There was a scene where Karen's literally holding him in her arms like Mary did when she pulled Jesus down from the cross, and she just holds him there. Matt Murdock, she's holding him in the church, and they got the cross right there behind him. I- and I was like, look at this. This, 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 this. That's that's all in the comics. So and it's all born. in the comics because they follow the Frank Miller comics. And then there's another part where they're hiding in the tomb. <laughs> and when they come back, the tomb's open and they're gone. Oh, 
Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. The symbolism in the show is there, and they use a lot of that Catholicism and the, you know the whole good versus evil. Mm-hmm. And um, Matt Murdock had to do had you know a lot of struggle. There was a lot of themes going in there. Being alone, having to deal with being alone. Like almost every character, they showed their little story mm-hmm. as a far, as far as like feeling alone. So we saw Daredevil growing up when he lost his folks, and then he ended up being an orphan. Froggy, even though he had his family there, he kind of feels isolated because he's a successful one. Everybody else is still working at the, you know, family deli, doing their thing, just barely making it by. Mm-hmm. Um, Karen's story, we saw her story with her oh, family and her crazy, gross. her crazy brother and dad. <laughs> All right, what's up, Karen? Uh-huh. I never liked that character. <laughs> right. Same. It, like she, this actress, like she's meant to cry. Like the whole season three, <laughs> she's just crying. Very more s- more than the Good. second and the first one. Mm-hmm. She's just crying every scene. <laughs> it's like, damn, they just get her ready to, you know, ball, <laughs> yeah, when they see get her, her, her eyes face. red and everything. She's always emotional. She has that little lip quiver that she does. <laughs> it's like, you know it's coming. The waterworks uh, are coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's like some, but, like, but, like, the So, mild spoilers. They show her backstory. Yeah. I yeah. even hate this character even more, but what? but, but what? in a, in a good way. In the, no, no, but in a good way. In the good he's, way. He's right. After okay. after I saw that, I was like, uh-huh. I was like, I thought you were okay before Karen, but God, damn you! Hey. You fucked up. You <laughs> did <laughs> big <laughs> time. You absolutely yeah, did. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Big time. Yeah. No, she has. She has. She has a lot going on, especially yeah. when they show her back. But again, her being alone. So there's like a lot of going back and forth of being alone and family and. The whole dynamic of trying to be there for each other, and, and it, sometimes family is the one that hurts you the most. So yeah. we definitely saw that with Karen's situation, mm-hmm. and then even back with Special Agent Nadim, he's kind of one of the other main guys in oh, season three. Yeah. So he's like the special agent that was assigned to watch um, Fist. Yeah, and he had debt up to here, mm. <laughs> medical bills. Oh, yeah. His house was being renovated. He was trying to throw in a pool. And so, like, they were telling him, they were like, look, we can't give you these jobs because you're a liability because you're a dad. And he's like, nah, I got it. No, I'll watch Fisk, blah, blah, blah. And Fisk knew that because he was in so much debt, I can get to him. I can manipulate him because he needs this more so than anybody. So let me make, son, the dude... Machiavelli, son. Yeah. He is a mastermind. Uh-huh. He is like the Illuminati in this show. You know what I'm saying? He makes things happen that you didn't even know. Like, halfway through it, only close to, not even halfway through it, you start figuring out, like, what the hell? He did this? And he told him, what? Yeah. Son. Give the whole all, season just like blew my mind. Well, you know, King, King Pain is like, <laughs> yeah, you gave me all the papers. I want to know all of them. Some <laughs> <laughs> <Sunny> boxers. Some <laughs> boxers. Then point. You are alone. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah. King, King Pin, man. He <laughs> actually felt like, like, like he, he he did a great job with season one and season two, but mm-hmm. like in this season, nah. he felt like comic book King Pin. Yeah, this season he became the King Pin. All the way down to the whole court case mm-hmm. with the jury. Like that happened in the comics. That whole situation with the jury with the jurors, that happened in the comics, dude. Like he manipulated all that. He knew where everybody lived. Season three, he, hands he, down, he best is, Marvel show. Yeah, that was amazing. He's, he's the mafia of the mafia. Yeah, no, nah, he is. He controls everything. Every move, he, it's like playing chess. Uh, all for all love, moves. but we can't say that name. <laughs> all his, all his moves were for a reason. Everything he did, from the people he picked to watch him, to the, the um, to what was happening with Daredevil, all the accidents and the incidents that were occurring here and there. And the plot twist, too, man. Yeah, he was pulling the strings, son. He was definitely pulling the strings. You know, when I was a little boy, <laughs> I bashed my father's face with a hammer. I bashed him with a hammer. And then I watched him. And then my mother was happy. <laughs> I stared at that wall for hours. <laughs> I'm 18. I can't say the name. <laughs> was given to me. It was given to me by Blank. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got you. I, you gotta watch the show. You're not gonna get it. You didn't watch it. I'm Alex. saying that. I'm saying like, what is it? the way he's talking. Am I watching Venom again? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's better. It's yeah, better. better. He's more poetic. He, he's very he's poetic. Poetic. Very he's poetic. poetic. He's, he, very poetic. He's I don't even man. know if it's an accent or what. What would you describe that? I mean, it's a character. He's becoming that persona of Kingpin. So I think that's kind of the voice he just developed over the seasons. Like, it got a little bit of darker and heavier and raspier. And so now he's like, now he's Kingpin. This is it. Because now this is classic comic Kingpin. Cause, cause his voice is deep and like raspy, like you said, but it's, he doesn't sound like a chain smoker. No, because right. King, Kingpin, mm-hmm. he's kind of a person who has very like low self-esteem. Right. So he, by reading the comics mm-hmm. and by reading like what his characteristics are, mm-hmm. He kind of figured maybe he sounds more like this because he's kind of a timid person, even though he's like strong and he will kill you. Cold right? Blood. Yeah, easily. But he's still like a timid. What? <laughs> What's the name that guy up in the <laughs> van? What? Or truck? Shut the door. Clack, clack, clack. Close the door. Give <laughs> <laughs> me your jacket. <laughs> oh, give me your oh, jacket. Yeah, give me your jacket right now. <laughs> I don't understand, but it just sounds I funny. Yo, that you gotta scene watch. made me go, what the You gotta heck? watch season three. What? You gotta watch all of it. You gotta, you, you have to. Just, if you want to be respected by me. I'm, I'm sorry. You have to watch Jeff you can't, you can't skip them. You have to watch. You, you, like, you can't skip none you of them. You have to watch the have rise to. of Kingpin. Right, because that's how you, that, because you appreciate Kingpin more in this season after watching the first two. Mm-hmm. And that and then Daredevil as well too. Like you understand his whole dynamic from season one to two, and then now the three. Like, uh, like you can tell because even with the whole costume change and him, like I'm giving up. I ain't doing this no more. I'm done. Like I can't be beating up people all day. Like that's just. And then he's like, all right, I gotta do this because things are gonna change. They're only gonna get worse. It's his conviction. Yeah, that's definitely can his I, conviction. Can I say Daredevil gets the shit kicked out of him? He does in this season. Blind man gets. <laughs> Boy, me to the face, son. <laughs> that dude had a crowbar that when he when he when he couldn't stay down and that was helping. Right, right. He's like, don't get up. That dude took a crowbar to the face. Uh, yeah, man. No, he should have lost a tooth or something. They beat the snot out of it. But again, back symbolism. Mm-hmm. He was getting whipped and beat, and they um, were torturing him mm-hmm. and dragging him through the mud. They were even like. You know, here's your guys, you know, and then the other guy, he was posing as him, oh. Poindexter, and so another and symbolism again, trying yeah. to just drag his name through the mud. Mm-hmm. This is this is who y'all look to? This is your <laughs> your hero? Look at him. Now he's running around here doing all this. This is your stuff. messiah. Right. <laughs> oh, he folks. does say that. Is this your messiah? I'm telling you. Like, God damn, King <laughs> <laughs> He does. Details. First of all, well what, what's great about that uh-huh. is that it's not preachy. It's not definitely it's not, not preachy at all. It, it, it has a nice balance in it, it. It's and it, and it's really good that they gave mm-hmm. those people that those the Catholic priests and everybody there uh-huh. um, a personality and yeah. and and show them they were human. Right. Yeah. I think that's important because sometimes I'm you know I'm a man of faith. I can only tell you this and that, but like they don't really show you they're human too. They only right. show you that. They work really hard doing their job. Right, yeah. Because there's a scene where you see like the Catholic um, priest, the father, and the bar playing pool. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't live in the church. He has a life outside of this. He's still a man, but he has a you know a faith that he lives by. Mm-hmm. So you have to. It's, it's amazing. I don't know if anybody else. Wants, I know I kind of took it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I get you. I mean, I'll take it away from you a little bit. Uh-huh. I mean, when I first watched. Daredevil season three, bro. Mm-hmm. I I put all other shows behind me, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I had to watch it. Flash, man, get out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah. like, Again, by DC. <laughs> that my <laughs> CW. I was, son, I was invested from beginning to end. Yeah. Oh my no, god, no joke. Same mm-hmm. here. Oh my gosh, man, I absolutely love season three, bro. Kingpin. I totally point? know where mm-hmm. he was coming from. He pulled mm-hmm. strings, bro. Like, I felt like a puppet watching it, bro. <laughs> like, he made this. So I could watch the show. What is happening? <laughs> he fooled you. Yeah, he did, he bro. You. <laughs> and, um, bro, Daredevil. I mean, Matt Murdock, bro. Oh, mm-hmm. you have to give credit to the actor, though. Bro, I mean, he, yeah, that he's... Yeah, that guy who plays him. Bro, 
His name is Charlie Cox, right? Yeah, yeah Charlie Cox. Cox. Yep. Yeah. Bro. He I plays a blind man real well. The yeah, he really, he's unable yeah, to he, move his eyes while he's he does acting. Thing. Yeah. I, I was like, I, 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 I tried doing that one time. I, I couldn't do it. Mm. He's it's hard. Because you, when something's moving in your peripheral, you want to look at it. So mm. the fact that he's able to just block it out, it's amazing. Man, he does an amazing job doing that. I was mm. just looking at him the whole time like, bro, if I had to do something like that, right? of course I would. I would, I couldn't do a role like that. Nah, I would have to see. Yeah. Man. But he, he's, but that's the thing. He's see, he's seeing, because yeah. he, they tried putting like contacts, mm-hmm. contact lenses that mess with your sight, mm-hmm. but that didn't work. So he just watch, like how we do animation, just look at reference. Yeah, and, just watch. And just, he people. does it. Yeah. So he, he's a, he's hands down the best at <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, He just, that he, he very, he very. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I'm not taste. the bad guy, kid. <laughs> Get that he shit he, taste he, he buried it and hit it with the hammer. <laughs> For real. Or was it, was it? He's like, now he's like Martha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He can't even do Batman anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right, do you, did you you didn't get to watch um, J Double? Did you? No, that? but I'm definitely gonna watch it. You got to. Hell yeah, yeah I'm gonna watch it. You got to. It's amazing. <laughs> Based on our reactions. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Zed, you wanted to throw in some Daredevil two cents? Oh man, just <laughs> you know, <laughs> some it, more. No, but back to what you said about the whole religious thing. It was funny because uh-huh. they mentioned stuff about Job, and then mm-hmm. more as you keep Absolutely. seeing, it's kind of like it felt like the whole fights he was going through were kind of like trials. Right. Like, is he really willing to keep fighting mm-hmm. for the city even though he's lost his faith? Right. Or lost his way. He didn't really lose his faith. He lost his way. I feel yeah. like towards the end, he kind of came back, but in a, in his own way. Kind of like, kind of like, I believe there's a God, but I don't know if I believe everything that's there. Which is kind of like what you need to do in a spiritual thing. You need to find right, out what. Right, you need to go what. through that. Because yeah. you can't always believe what's in a book. Because somebody wrote it down, and you don't know if they wrote the whole truth. So you have to do your own Uh-oh. interpretation. <laughs> yeah. right. And I'm not saying it in a bad way, Jacob. Let me clarify. You have to do your own interpretation. So the way he did this, it was his own interpretation, his own path to figure out what do I believe, what am I going to fight for, what is my my code, my moral stance. Yeah, that's yeah, and that's pretty much what it was. Because yeah. you can definitely see that in the beginning. He struggles with that. Even when the girl's like, oh, thank God you saved us. And he's like, uh, God didn't save you, I did. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's what I was, that's yeah, what that's I was saying. Yeah, yeah, referring back to what you yeah, were saying. No. So yeah, you can see that 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 conflict that he kind of goes through. And Because in, in Job, he like he stayed loyal, but all his, all his fans, friends and family were like, you know, curse him. He did this to you. You've done nothing wrong. Right, yeah, exactly. It's, it's like I said, it's all a path you got to find. Again, great storytelling. Great storytelling. Yeah. Uh, didn't see it. You're right. You're excused. <laughs> you need to I watch. I don't think Marty saw it. Satan, you didn't. No. You didn't get to see it. Yeah, you guys, you guys are definitely missing out. You need to watch Daredevil. I can't Not express now. how great. I <laughs> so, it's amazing. Other. I watched it in like two days. Yeah, three, yeah. three because of that word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, three days. I watched this episode from I mean, season three. <clears throat> I knocked it out. Yeah, because I couldn't stop watching. I'm like, man, I gotta watch one more. Yeah, same year. I mean, it's looks just one good. more. This one, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I don't watch four episodes, and now it's like four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, all right, now I gotta go. To sleep. <laughs> you can in that show because, like, towards the end of like each episode, yeah. something big is gonna happen. Like, yeah, oh, now we're gonna do it. Like, they, no. they give you just enough. That You're like, bro. all right, I need to see what happens. And then you don't watch the whole other episode. You don't want to stop halfway through it. It's like going to a family dinner. It's like, oh man, the appetizers are nice. Oh, the dinner's oh, so full. Right. Is that yeah. dessert? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep, the, keep the plates rotating. <laughs> so yeah, all, all in all, great show. If you haven't started it, start it. If you didn't get a chance to watch season three, highly recommend it. Yeah. Great, great, great story. Highly recommend. I want to start it. All right, and on that high note, we got to bring it down. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. To a low note. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Teen Titans Go nope. no. no. Teen Titans Go Go your way as home <laughs> And this is when I turn back around <laughs> Is that the new Mobile <laughs> Yeah Go Just oh. like Pokemon Go oh, I wanted to mention this Since we're talking about Titans Uh huh Fuck man <laughs> That's all you need from it yo Well Now, now that you mentioned Teen Titans And Teen Titans Go 
there's going to be a crossover between the original Teen Titans. Oh, I heard about that. Yep, yeah. Where, and um, Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans Go. So there's kind of like a theory going around, like saying that, you know, maybe they're both fighting for a spot for season six. Garden Network. Oh, well, no. That's some weak okay. ass. Okay, okay. Fuck out okay. Of first, first, what I heard about that was is mm. that picture that came out. Uh huh. Everybody said it was fake because they saw it on April first, but it was released two days before April first. Mm-hmm. That season six is coming to Adult Swim. Every source I found online about it, it's legit. It's coming to Adult Swim. It's okay. going to be TV Teen. Okay. So they're going to have blood. They're going to have swears. They're going to have or whatever. Yeah. It's going to be the Teen Titans we wanted back then. Which was still amazing. Right, but yeah. it's going to be that little extra step. Right, a little edge. Right, cool, yeah, like cool. Samurai Jack. Exactly. Like Samurai Jack. Yeah. Like they did the final Samurai. season of Samurai Jack. Now, yeah. let's, let's go back to the other one. The live action oh, team. Man. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, I disrespect you, Daredevil. Yeah, but we got to talk about... <laughs> no, I haven't watched it. I mean, it's called Titans. Fuck what I know. Titans, right. It's called Titans. It's live action. Yeah. It's, it's one of those shows that I think DC's... Using to introduce because they're gonna do start doing that live streaming network too. Oh, yeah. so this is like their way of kind of putting it out there. So this show is featured on there. So it comes out bi-weekly, right? Like any other average television show, I believe. And um, man, this sh- <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You know what? I- I'll say this: it's it's becoming a guilty pleasure because like it's 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 bad. It's not good. It's definitely not good at all. <laughs> but I want to watch it. Because I want to keep seeing what's going to happen. Because yeah. I want to see where they take the trash. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're they're taking it somewhere. The river. I don't know where they're going to throw it. But they're taking the trash somewhere. I mean, the goal is the, uh-huh. the trash bin. <laughs> the goal is the trash bin. I don't know where they're leading us right now. Boy, they take it to and I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw some spoilers out there. Because I hope y'all don't care. I, don't don't care. Sure. I already don't care. I, I, look, look, I, look, I recommend I'll, the comics. I'll, I'll watch it when I watch it. Yeah, watch it when you watch it. I ain't going to watch it until it's all out. I mean, right. watch it until... We it well, when when it comes isn't to it coming to... Yeah, yeah I was going to say, isn't it coming to Netflix? Netflix? Yeah, I think they're going to gonna finish airing it online, and mm-hmm. then maybe like a yeah, like month after. Yeah, whatever contract they have with Netflix. So right now, DC showing it on their end, and then when they're done, I guess they got to deal with Netflix. All access. So just give them all the episodes, so they just go ahead and drop that first season. Yeah. I just read the comments. So I can rate it above <laughs> or below Black Lightning. But definitely below no, Black Lightning. Definitely, <laughs> bro. Definitely Look, uh, uh, don't disrespect... Look. <laughs> Don't just respect Black Lightning. I know, I know. All right, because like at least, at least it's trying to be more than what it could be or what it could do. Right. The fights aren't doing it for me though. The fights. <laughs> this is this is what I pulled from the show. Right. I think this is the best way to sum it up. It's like a watered down version of Kick Ass. Have you all oh, ever seen Kick Ass? No. Yeah. You know, oh God. it has that. No. It has it that has total that, vibe. It out. It's no, like no. it's supposed to be these teen Colorful heroes. Right, because it's still comic-y. It still has that comic book element to it. And it's a bunch of teens, and they're fighting crime, but then it's supposed to be, like, super dark and graphic. So, like, when Robin, like, throws his little Robin battering things at people, like, they stab him and they bleed. And he's, like, punching and hitting. And I don't know where they get this garbage-ass blood effect. You know? <laughs> he, like, you have, oh, seen, have you noticed bro, it? Seen it? Like, when he hits and punches people and a blood flies, it's, like, super reddish-pink looking. It looks weird. Like, I don't know why they do that. I don't know if they're trying to do that whole comic book vibe. So, like, splatters when he hits them. Mm-hmm. Hey, it, it looks awful, dude. And so, like, that, the last episode I saw was episode three, The Birds of Prey, where they introduce, um, was it Dove and Hawk? Yes. Dove and Hawk. Dove and Hawk. But they, they gender swapped them. So, oh, did they? So, yeah, Dove's yeah, supposed yeah. to be a guy and Hawk's supposed to be a girl? No, they're both supposed to be dudes. Yeah, they're oh, they're both to be, supposed to be dudes. Yeah, they're supposed okay. to be guys. So yeah, so Dove's a girl and Hawk's a man. They're in a relationship or whatever. And of course, Robin joins them. So birds of prey or whatever they want to call them. So then they have their little story where they fight and go out. And then there's like this weird like assassin family. Oh yeah, that comes out of nowhere, bro. That comes out of nowhere. Like, at first, they seem kind of cool because it, it's different. And I was like, all right, I'm going to bribe this. I'm going to see where they go with this. And they have like this odd set of skills. And like once they get the note, it's like it activates them or whatever. Yeah, like sleeper agents. Yeah, yeah, like sleeper agents type. And it's like a typical suburban white family. I don't know. Have you ever heard of them in DC Comics? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. That makes sense. Because I was thinking about looking them up. Because I'm like, I've never heard of them before. Yeah, it's like two Mom, parents. dad, son, daughter. That's it. White family living up in the suburbs, having a normal life. Everything's happy. A guy yeah. comes and he's like, hey. We need you. Here's here's the note. Go do your thing. 
and it like it just clicks, and they're like, "All right, time to go to work." And you see them start pulling out guns and weapons and shit. Bro, what? Like, yeah, nonchalantly, it's super, like, yeah, nonchalantly, and they're all okay. smiling. Like, here we go, family vacation. And they all get in the car and they're like driving all happy <laughs> to go that? kill people. Was it like the movie Vacation? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it felt like. It felt like the um the villain family from the uh the, um uh, well, I don't know what you mean, guys, the, the movie the, the Minions. The Minions movie. Yeah. Remember the villain family when they were going to Villain Con? Oh yeah. That family, that's what it kinda reminded me of. <laughs> the, or that or like the, the the spades, the the ones from the cartoon where they all like they all symbolize like a card. Oh yeah, like the king, the queen, yeah. the jack, the ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, oh, gotcha. I. God. So yeah, those I, I remember, but they're not like that. That's yeah, like the royal, royal flush, flush game. game. The royal flush, flush game. But it's not the royal flush game. Okay. They're just typical people, and then they're all of a sudden agents and they kill people. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, That's man. Like, the, the graphics aren't that great. I don't know what's going on Son, with saw? Raven, Starfire, or Rebecca. What do they call her? They call her Rachel. Rachel. What? Who? Who Her Rachel? name is Rachel. Who's that? Who's that? Rachel. Rachel. Raven. Raven is Rachel. What? Okay. Get it right. I'm sorry. It's Rachel. Yes, she works Rachel. at Hot Topic. I'm, I'm she sorry. She works at Hot Topic part time. Oh, no. Okay. No, so I'm done. that's where she gets all I'm her done. stuff. Okay. Nah, we're just throwing it out there. Yeah. <laughs> that's not real. Oh, okay. We're just going to raise a great collection. Yeah, piercings. She, she has these weird. Cut my life nah, she has into that pieces. So she has these weird dreams, right? Yeah. That, like. I guess trigger her powers and she's always screaming. Ah, she really flies she's out. always screaming, bro. Put a pillow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Huh. Bro. Does she have a? Does she have the diamond? No, nope. uh, no. Oh. Nope. She doesn't have the All diamond. Right. So yeah. we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're done. And then I don't know what they're doing with 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 Starfire, bro. Uh, like, what is she? What is she like? An agent for like Interpol or something? I don't <laughs> what? know. An she, agent? I thought she was an alien. She's uh, supposed to be. They haven't said nothing about her being no damn alien. They <laughs> had said nothing. They just show her in a car, uh-huh. just waking up after a car crash or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> so what she, she hit her head? Showing up to somebody dying, and she just gets out. And I don't know. That's it. They shot fire. She fire. She oh, shoot fire. Somebody shoots a gun at her, and she. Burns she, the melt the bullet. Whatever. She melt the bullets because that's not her powers. So yeah. <laughs> What, what is she? Star Bolt. Captain Marvel. She's on Earth. She's like, she's, who am I? She's the human torch. No, they 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 saw that Marvel that, that Captain Marvel trailer and they're like, let's do that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I I still haven't figured out. I, I don't know if they're trying to keep that element of mystery until eventually we find out she's a she's a finale. Maybe she's a she's an alien. What, what are they called again? The Tamaranians. Oh, Tamaranians. Tamaranians. Yeah, the Tamaranians. So I don't know if that's something they're just kind of holding. Like maybe she was like a special government thing that happened. You know what they should have done? They should have done the outlaws. That was yes. Cool. That, oh that would have made God. more sense. My boy, it's start, it's start, it's start yeah. fire with uh, what's it called? Red Hood and yeah. Arsenal. And Arsenal. That probably would have worked better. Than I love this. how he wears trucker hats in that comic. Because I don't know what they're doing with Beast Boy. <sighs> like he was. What in, is he? He was in a video game store as a tiger. Trying to steal games, right? Wasn't it what he was doing? Something like a movie huh? or a game or something? Huh? The guy's huh? like, what's going on in here? <laughs> and he's looking around, and there's like this big-ass green tiger trying to open up a video game case. I was like, what sense does that make? Why are you a fucking tiger? You can't just show up regularly. Well, why don't you just turn an a ape or something? Yeah, I was Or just say. yourself and break <laughs> into bitch. Like, why you gotta be a tiger to rob the store? <laughs> and he runs out with the game. And he's naked. And he's naked, so his clothes don't transform with him. Right. Ooh. So when he runs out in the woods, he grabs his clothes and puts it on. He's like, oh, "Cool, I got my game." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, this is terrible. What is this? Cool. What are they doing?" The last <laughs> possible same out which side boy got to. <laughs> he's in. He's, well, he's he in the Bloodbuster movie. Yeah, he's in the high the Hollywood production. Oh, so he's like, not with them. He's like, "I'm not part of this." Nah, he's part of Justice League. At this who's point. the token black guy? There ain't no, they no, ain't no. That's why they that, and Starfire. That's why they. That's why they switch. Starfire. That's why they switch. God damn. Wait, right there. There it is. There it is. Might that filled the void. Bumblebee, I think her name was from Teen Titans show. Oh, oh yeah, from the oh, Hive, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. From the Hive. Yeah. No, the, not the Hive. It's the other. <laughs> the, it's uh, like the other Teen Titans. She was undercover. Uh, B. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking, oh, you're about. talking about. With the little puffs, right? Yeah. 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 She, she shoot the little things out of her hands. She that's, can shrink. That's, that's, actually, that's actual hero, bro. Might as well gotcha. put that in the show and replace that rule. I don't know. It could. I mean, that, that's... You want that to happen, but, though? No. 
I mean, I just look. No, you know why? No, because they already messed it up. They already yeah, not they already shit. did what they did. Don't, there don't, you go. Like, now they just have to ride the shit out. <laughs> yeah, Let's just see where they take it. They are dragging the trash. Yeah, they the dragging the trash. You want, you the bag done open. All what, the garbage what, spilling what, down the aisle. They try to pick it up. They trying to <laughs> brush it with the broom. Here's a little something you might like. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there it fell out again. <laughs> your your hope that they take it to the dumpster and they take it to the incinerator. <laughs> right, and they never bring it back. Cause canceled. That ain't happening. That ain't happening anytime soon. Bro. I don't know because if people keep watching it like us, <laughs> they ain't gonna cancel it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. But I'm uh-huh. pretty sure they had to think at some point. No one wanted this. <laughs> no one had the right no, wanted Nobody this. asked yeah. for this. Dude. No, I, yeah, nobody you really see. asked for this. Nobody asked for this. Nobody really asked for this. No, and I think it's supposed to be because I don't know because of the um, the intro. I don't know if it's going to be part of the DCU or not. Uh. Because of that whole little, you know how DC has that new little intro they do with all the heroes. And it's like yeah. dun, 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 oh, so they copy and all that. Yeah. But now that's like the thing they do for their movies. So they do it for the show. So I was like, is this going to be part of the main universe? Or... Is it gonna... Wait, which Robin is this? It's not which Robin? Uh, is Dick Grayson? It's Dick Grayson. No, it can't be Dick Grayson. Yeah, it yeah. is Dick Grayson. It is. It is? They it's show, Dick Grayson. They show us they, the they backstory. Fucked up. They, they fucked up again. It's not yeah, because he was part of the Flying Graysons. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm talking about as in the Teen Titans. They fucked up using Dick Grayson because oh. if we watched the other movies that came mm-hmm. out, if they're going to put them together, is he supposed to be dead? Oh, yeah, with Batman. I yeah, Batman. Yeah, yeah. Remember he had the suit in his in his Batcave and it had like the Joker, ha, ha, ha. Wait, which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the the um, Batman versus Superman. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I haven't actually seen that one. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, it, it shows the suit in the trailer <laughs> so it tells you that Robin is dead. Is so if they're going to but I don't know though because in the show he's lost all ties with Batman. Yeah. So like he wants nothing. Like he ran away. They had that shitty ass CGI scene with him flipping out the window. That didn't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you CGI and somebody yeah, flipping out a window into a tree? Okay. Now this is sorry. Just make him climb out the goddamn. Now this window. is why they fucked up. So why is he Robin? He's supposed to be Halloween at this point. True. Well, he's still Robin. Yeah. Yeah. How was the? You're leaving. You're leaving the dude. And you you just had to change the name. Because he kept all the gear, so that's why. So he didn't uh, get new gear, so I don't know if maybe later they'll turn him into Nightwing. And um, another thing, too, he still has access to Alfred. He could still Yeah, he still has access to Alfred, too. Yeah. Alfred, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be back over there. <laughs> this show is going to be canceled soon. <laughs> is that yet? And Bruce Wayne's going to be standing there. <laughs> he be back. <laughs> Remember he left and you see Bruce Wayne just looking out the window at him because he watches him leave. He knows, you know, fucking Batman. He knows everything. I mean, he sees him leaving now, so he's just like, "All right, you be back, motherfucker." <laughs> Close the curtains. I know you coming back. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a billionaire. What you gonna do? Live on the streets? It's <laughs> my ass. <laughs> There's only one thing they can do to make it work. The uh-huh. show even worse than what I thought. Well, then it already is. Uh-huh. They put in Damien. <laughs> nah, just shit. There's, not, there's uh, nothing they can do. They cannot put Damien. They're not gonna put him in there. That's too much. Too much writing on there. Besides, part. it's the wrong Robin. <laughs> That's too much work. Yeah, they're, they're wrong Robin. It's the story's all over the goddamn place. Really I don't know is. what they're doing with stuff. It's like my brain hurts whenever Starfire gets on screen. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you work for? What are like you? A government? Who do you work for? Interpol? You're a government agent? Cause remember she started speaking other languages. Yeah. And I know that's part of the thing. When yeah, she kisses kiss, you uh, and she gets the. But they didn't show that. Did you kiss somebody? No. no. So I don't know, dude. I don't know what her... <sighs> Starfire? I don't know what Starfire thing is in this show. <laughs> like, she just totally... She's like... I, I get it why, she, I get it why she's, they changed her her race in this. Because they're not going to put Cyborg. <laughs> I, maybe. Maybe that's a field of boy. Boy. <laughs> we got to balance conspiracy it. Conspiracy time. Oh, we got to balance it out. Boy. Uh, that, that's, that's, I like it. That's, that's, that's nothing else I can say about that show. Yeah, nothing... You can, you know, maybe I'll just struggle through it just to see where it ends up. Same year. Yeah, because I'm curious to see how they're going to end it. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, you lost I'll watch it if you want. If you don't, <laughs> fine with me. Hey, watch, watch Daredevil, it. though. Yeah, definitely watch Daredevil. I'll watch on Netflix. Netflix. But you lost me, though. I said Raven don't got her little rum face on her forehead. I'm like, so she ain't got none of that. She's just like, she's like a super, like, depressed, edgy kid. She's an emo. She's an emo to, like, the 10th 
degree. Okay. <laughs> and so I got like I got like the X Men movie of Jean Grey. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that, is that, we need to wrap it up then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time. This is the best time. <laughs> what you What you want to add, Jacob? Before we yeah, move it back to uh-huh. this. Rachel character. <laughs> Rachel. Yeah, like she Rachel. She usually just flips out. You know, she she kills people out of nowhere. She just like she just tell she just you know that weird blurry effect when you're kind of trying to go fast that usually yeah. is this Sonic now? Yeah. <laughs> they just pull like so much motion blur like you know. Gotta like, go fast. Yeah, it's like they're trying to do that. They're trying to do that Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> but they're oh, doing it wrong. Exactly. Bro, it's just too much of it. She just, it she's like, Rrr! just flips out of nowhere. She's like, why did I do this? Who did I, why am I watching this show? So bad. Though. And I hate that it doesn't, she doesn't, I don't know, maybe they'll develop it later, mm-hmm. but she doesn't get the manifestation of the raven spirit. It's like, it's just like a shadow figure of her. Oh, and what? Then it's, do it, kill her. Kill the bitch. Then a the raven, <laughs> then the raven actually show kill up. It. I remember What's Raven that? actually showed up. Yeah, a Raven did show up that like follows her or something. But I, I don't think it's nothing that she summoned. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> watch it at your own discretion. <laughs> if you want to, terrible. fine. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, you can swap Teen Titans for Daredevil. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Again, like I said, it, it, now it's become a guilty pleasure. So I'm like, I want to see how bad well, the trash can you, get. But you willingly sat down, turned on Netflix, and watched it? <laughs> not, not, it's, it's not Netflix. It's streaming right oh, now. Oh, streaming. Still streaming. It's not Netflix. See, I don't not even yet. know where it's been. Really. Just give it until like January then. Yeah, wait till it's done. And then, again, if you want to just watch episode one just to see. All right, let me see I'll what they're talking about. How bad is it? Uh, yeah. Just be warned. <laughs> it's really bad. And since you're a story man, bro. How's, how's, how's the story? I just want to know this quick. Yeah, have you not like been listening? Like, I've been, <laughs> yeah, I've been listening, but like overall, like is it like building up to anything? <laughs> like, are they going anywhere with it? Son, they, they don't, they don't know what they're doing. It's all over the place, man. Right. It is. There's too much he's happening. Right, there's dude. these assassins. There's right. this. There's that. They don't know there's what they're doing. They're suffering. The I, still don't, I, I still don't know what Beast Boy is doing. He just yeah. run around naked <laughs> stealing video games. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's his story. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds about right, though. <laughs> that's about right. So far, he has the best plot. Wow. Yeah, be basically. Naked. Steal games. Just be naked. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I think we're done talking about yeah, that. I'm, I'm drained on yeah. that. Yeah, sure. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> So let's bring it back to the high point. Smash Brothers. <laughs> In all its beautiful glory. How many characters? How many characters How many coming characters? out of Smash Brothers? We got 74. 74. So, so, there's name another funny game or is that? There is no Mugen. funny game. What? Mugen. <laughs> you got 120. Not me. That technically got like an infinite amount that you can just mod it in. That's true. Yeah, you definitely can. Oh, man. But, uh, all right. Massive yeah. hero soccer man. Soccer <laughs> man. <laughs> no, boy. All right. So Sandler. first, let me start off by saying, fuck Infinity War. He's talking about the trailer for I'm now. kidding. I have yeah. feels. Inf- Infinity, Infinity War still there, but like, holy crap. Sakurai. Yeah. That's this, this game. Hold on. We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> holy crap. This game. Like, the Nintendo Direct came out November. Fr- I mean, the Nintendo Direct. The Smash Direct. Smash Direct. Came yeah. out November 1st. Whoever watched that Smash Direct November 1st, they automatically fell no nut November. All right? <laughs> they started the squad fight. There's no other point. Oh, my God. Boy, the, the so sea many of. This the is, sea this of is a $60 everywhere. game. This is a $60 game. <laughs> With 74 different playable characters. And it's not just Nintendo characters anymore, like the old Smash Brothers. Now mm-hmm. it's like a, it's not, Smash Brothers is not like a legacy of video game characters. So you have Solid Snake, you have, you know, Sonic, you have Bayonetta, you have Cloud Strife, you have Ken and um, Ryu from Street Fighter, you have yes. Mega Man. Mega Man, holy. You got Pac Man in there. You got Show. You got Show. I mean, Shulk. he's a Nintendo character too, yeah. but like, it's like it's became more of like a legacy gaming collection now. Right, yeah. And it's it's like so many good details that went into Smash Brothers that Masahiro Sakurai or how would I like to say <laughs> Masahiro Sakurai. Our father, Daddy Sakurai. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Sakurai. Daddy, Daddy Sakurai. Daddy. Daddy Sakurai. This, this man. He is oh, I'm sorry, Jacob, but he's a God level, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Calm down, <laughs> he, he, did, no. he did the dad pat over the shoulder and be like, 
son, look at all these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, You'll have to give it to him, though. Yeah. No, no, no. I, 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 yeah. Trust me, I take nothing from Spanish. I've been playing it since 64. Yeah. So I'm, I'm there with you. Definitely looking forward to it. All right. Same. I, I got to buy Switch, but. <laughs> no, yeah, I gotta buy well, I'll bring it over. I'll bring it. We'll play together. Yes. Okay. So there's a, like they revealed um a lot during this Nintendo Direct for mm-hmm. Smash Brothers. But what I want to go over mostly is well, well, we'll talk about the characters real quick first. Mm-hmm. Um, they introduced Ken yes. from Street Fighter as yes. Ryu's Echo Fighter. They also in, um, introduced Incineroar from oh, the yeah. Pokemon series. Oh, yeah, that was dope. And that was dope. I mean, that's <laughs> Incineroar, that's right. Yeah, that's that's the right, wrestler. Right, right. It's yeah. Lucha, Tiger Mask. Really yeah, good. Tiger Mask. <laughs> the only Pokemon I nickname. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Have and you seen his Lucha? Oh, yeah, I saw his Lucha. The Lariat. Bro, they must, they must, they call it the Red Cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm waiting, waiting for the mods at this point. Yeah, when the mod comes, it's there. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> and as the biggest and last joke character... Oh, man. Yo, y'all Waluigi fan, y'all better be weeping, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> no Waluigi. <laughs> they got a plant in here. <laughs> they put a plant over Waluigi. Yo. And it's from the Mario universe. That's Mario what makes that's... it even more hurt. <laughs> that's... Like, it's not a character from another. It ain't Banjo-Kazooie. It ain't Banjo. It ain't Gino. Spyro. It ain't whoever Star, else they're trying to. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't Sora. Oh, oh, none, none of that. <laughs> it's, a, it's Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant. So, that's some disrespect. <laughs> that's disrespect. That's very disrespect. That's, that's <laughs> hilarious. But, like, look. This man has given you the most unique roster of characters you could ever imagine. Right. And then you're going to go ahead and shit on all of that just because some... Purple hat wearing motherfuckers not in the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, bro. Huh? Why would you? Is the boy? Look, look, I know, <laughs> look, look. Listen, I'm a fan of like, Waluigi would too, but the fan base is they're getting really ridiculous. They're, they're getting are. out of hand. It's yeah. terrible. I, I, love it. I think it's funny. I'll get like I love the character himself, but I do not see a like a move set for him. I mean, just I, tennis? I don't see it. I mean, he could get creative. That's the I thing. I mean, you could give yeah. him like you could do him like the Wii Sports. Though. You could do him like how Peach has like a Force Smash. You know, the different sport games yeah. and they all have their different things. You do that, but like, he has no identity as a character outside of the sport games in Mario Party. Yeah, true. Exactly. He, he's not a defined character. Yeah, he, didn't, he didn't have a game. He doesn't have his own game yet, so he can't really like his his only yeah, real game lackey. was Mario Party Three, I think it was, mm-hmm. when he's technically like the main villain because he pushes Bowser out of the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So I, don't, so I don't know. So, um, but you know, there's a possibility because you know they kind of introduce like, all right, we're gonna kind of work on five new characters and stages. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I want to talk about it because yeah. I like what they're doing. Most fighting games nowadays, they give you one character for like six bucks. Stages are like ten to twenty dollars, and Separate. music. If you're, you'll be lucky. If there's even music. Well, <laughs> this game has what like. How many soundtracks? Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Okay, there's a ridiculous amount. I'd say it's That's probably crazy. like a two to three hundred. They have a lot of songs. No, 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 no. He said nine hundred. It's, it's around nine. Like the last it's, Smash Direct, he said like, whoa. If you take away like the you know the menu cool, music though. and like the optional like you know, you. like the clicks and all that stuff, right? It'll like most likely average around <laughs> to like seven to eight hundred like tracks Within. from like a lot of games from all the games. Right, right, right. So. Like they're gonna be adding more music to like um the DLC too, so it's a lot of music. <laughs> no, but like I said, five ninety nine for a character, a stage, and a song. That is a very good deal, I think, for DLC. Because most games don't give you things like that anymore. Come and on, Grumpy, Grumpy, like, like, okay, go go Grumpy, OG fighting game. Back in my day, <laughs> you used to fight and unlock characters. You didn't have to buy true, the goddamn. True. And I knew this was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew Smash was gonna fall yeah. right in that hole with my love, Street Fighter. I've been dealing with this bullshit with buying extra characters that I want to play with, especially in the last one. I had damn near buy a whole roster of characters. I didn't get nobody I wanted to pick. But I, it, it's just it's a it's a recurring theme that all games are doing. I understand it. They gotta milk it. They put so much money into making these games, so they need a little bit back. I get it. I understand, but yeah, I, I just never, and I'll never agree with like paying for like extra characters and soundtracks and I mean, stages. I just don't like that. That's kind of like where we are now, where now we have to pay for the extra shit that we want. 
I agree with you, but like the thing, like the only difference with um Smash Brothers is well for me because I, I mean I say it a lot, but like we already have like seventy four characters. Yeah, it's just like yeah. like we, we we literally don't need anymore. But because no, Sakurai don't. wants to please as much fans as he wants, right? Because he he has he has a deadline, so right. he can't get all the characters out there. So he's gotcha. really starting from scratch when he's um making the DLC characters. So he has to build them up. Right, um, right, at right. some point so he I mean a DLC at least then we can have like some hopes for like you know Banjo and Gino right for and even else. like I'm I'm hoping to see Sora at some point so I don't know can, why but you think they're gonna miss Sora? Yeah. I mean like Kingdom Hearts I don't think so I mean I don't think so neither but it's like it's expensive Disney yeah Disney are gonna Disney's that contract time. and stuff yeah I was like, that's Disney mostly it's probably Gino and Banjo <laughs> or even Crash <laughs> and Spyro oh that would be awesome that would be great cause it's like a so yeah, so. <laughs> oh yeah, back to your question. Who 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 asked the question about the soundtrack? How many songs in total? Oh well, they were going. Um, I, I was thinking Alex. Lamp was saying nine hundred like plus. Nine. And I was I was thinking two to three hundred, but Lamp was more right because he just checked it. It has over eight hundred songs. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Fact check. Bam. <laughs> Right, so God damn it. Oh. I just want to go over like the the biggest um moment in the Smash uh-huh. Direct, oh, right. and that's Spirits mode. You like that? Holy crap! That's 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 one cinematic that mm-hmm. will top any game cinematic in like a long time. Incredible! It's, it's, it is incredible. It's it's a child's imagination, if anything. You have mm-hmm. every single one of your favorite video game iconic characters in one place. Infinity War style going <laughs> up against all the Master Hands of this new all Big Bad. Right, the new Bad. Oh, yes. Have you seen the, the trailer for mm-hmm. the series? Oh, I, I actually saw it this morning when I was going through my little and YouTube feed. I saw it and I was like, what is this? Now they have a story mode? Now it's not it's really a brawl. full story mode. Like right. Sakurai said his, himself that he he's not focusing more on the story but more on the gameplay. So like I believe that the, the cutscene that we see is going to be like the only cutscene in the game, and probably like one other, like all the way at the end. Right. Yeah. The final. Like the yeah, the like the final one. Right. Right. So that's what that's what I see. But like the the whole story mode or adventure mode itself is just think of a Kirby game, like a regular Kirby game, except like maximize the scale of it, mm-hmm. give it branching paths, and then give it like its own gaming element from different video game genres. Okay. So like you'll have this one water area where you can like jump on Lapras and move around the sea. Then you have this other area where it's like a desert wasteland. You can jump on the Rathalos and fly around. Then you have this other section mm-hmm. that's like a Pac-Man maze and all this other stuff. Right, and it's you just, move around through Pac-Man maze. Like, the team, they work really hard on the spirit mode as well because, like, it's not just, oh, you just go on the map and you fight this character, you fight that character. Uh-huh. It's also, now, like, it adds, like, this RPG element. Like, the, the spirits, like, they add, like, stats and they add, like, mm-hmm. advantages and disadvantages against other characters. Mm-hmm. And it's just an elaborate, gigantic um sort of way of like having like a sort of a party mode at uh-huh. the same time like giving it like its own identity as an adventure mode to like, give it more depth and like give you a more challenge to test yourself as you move your way across the board. And that's Smash, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All that's in Smash. Smash. So so it's not because he likes Kirby. It's, <laughs> well, there, there, I mean, you no, gotta give it. Bias towards the trailer, you know, only. Oh, uh, little pink ball survives. Yeah, oh, like, he, he is the Star bad. Warrior. He he is, Kirby is the Star Warrior. Give it, give you know that's props, his favorite character. But give him props. He is a god. Kirby is in one way or form a god because he's like throughout the games he's just been fighting gods after gods. Yeah, after yeah, gods yeah you're after gods. absolutely right about that. Yeah. So like yeah. Kirby at this point, let like, me the tell most you, overpowered Kirby Dreamland, you fight space itself. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I remember that. So that game was fun. So Kirby is giving, yeah, it's sort of a Sakurai favorite. Like, this is my baby boy. I'm going to take care of him. But, like, you know, it's, it's Kirby. You got to save the world. And that's that's my that's what I got for Smash. So what y'all got? Y'all want to say anything? I mean, what they show is, like, what, you start off with, like, eight to ten characters? No, just, yeah, just, like, the, the eight. You st- I think you got locked another 66 of them. Wait, did you start off with eight characters? You start off with Mario, Donkey Kong, Samus, and you got unlocked 
the rest of them. You so you talk about so you, you make it. You play you these guys. So don't like, you talk about you like unlocking characters. There you go. You, you got go. sixty six more to unlock. Yeah, <laughs> All Making right. your money work. That's right. Yeah. Definitely worth it. I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward though too. I was I was hyped when I saw um Ken Masters in the <laughs> the trailer. Like, yeah, now I can play Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> the way, like the way it's meant to be. He's doing like crazy picks and parries, and he's doing the he's doing the. Uh, third strike. Wait, I thought it was uh, it's turbo that they're using, right? His model. It yeah, they're, it's turbo, but the like turbo. the the one that he did in the trailer where he did the parry. Yeah. And then he does the what was it the machine? The, the evil moment. Oh, the tattoo. The tattoo whatever. Whatever. Evil moment. <laughs> Having the, the they, moment. they give him the evil moment, so that's pretty much yeah, third so strike. Parry and then do the <laughs> the hurricane kick. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. I I can't wait. It's it's gonna definitely be dope whenever you bring it. Smash We're gonna play it and stay up till six AM. Honestly though, <laughs> one thing I didn't realize until that point is out that they have the Rathalos in there. Yeah, but, but he's not replayable really though. He's not playable. But he's does that mean there's character. a possibility of it? Because they already put Monster Hunter, Hunter in a fighting game. That's true. They true. could bring it over. He was in the Marvel yeah. versus uh Capcom. And it played very well. Yeah, it got some good reviews that carried it. So I don't, we don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe we'll see. see. And then off of the success of the game too, since the game sold really well. Mm-hmm. Both that could be a possibility. PC version exceeded their sales. Really? Yeah. But it beat their expected yearly sales for it. Holy shit. Yeah. So yeah, that might be. We'll have to put that on the on the list of characters that may pop up. But that's everybody's here for. I mean, I'm the only smash. one. Smash. He kind of there. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all this a little This was your. Forward. This yeah. was your. This was your moment. <laughs> and you said, I, mean, I was hoping there would be more talking, but you know. No, I, I mean, I mean uh, we. We all seen it. We all played it. Yeah, no, but you are the man. You that thing that that, that he beats no, that's your papa the right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, papa Sakurai. You know, papa Sakurai. As much as I, I'd say, as much as like Incineroar is really cool, I like the whole wrestling aspect. Mm-hmm. You know, I wish they put like you know the real wrestler, champ in there. <laughs> But wasn't he like a like a? He was in the Tekken version. The Pokken. Pokken. The Pokken. Yeah. I thought he was like a trophy or something. Nah, he no, he was an character. official character. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. You know, character. everyone would. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are like, I'm not from Blazing Kid, you put him in Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. That would be really cool. Was was everyone, everyone wanted the, the, the cool, edgy, like, grass one. What is it? Oh, the Sidua? Yeah. Sidua, what the hell is that? A lot of people. It's like a. I was reading on Reddit, and people were like, you ain't getting it. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he is. All I know is Pikachu, <laughs> Squirtle, well, you Chabazon, played the other one. Nah, nah, I played the other one. <laughs> you played the other one. I ain't that behind. They Those got Pichu. Oh, yeah, or Pichu's my name. Pichu. Unless you all want to battle me. Glide score and Dragon, <laughs> yeah. Dragon Knight. Beat our ass with again. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, yeah. Smash is down. Great. Looking forward to it. And now the almighty... Rockstar. Dum down. Dum down. Dum down. Dum down. Oh wow! Dum, dum, turn around. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> <laughs> he had his back turned throughout the rest. Of Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> also known as Yeehaw Skyrim. <laughs> Boy, Yeehaw Skyrim. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you want to go there? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I like that. Yeehaw Skyrim. Yeehaw Skyrim. That's great. <laughs> but man, I mean. I, I guess me and me and Zed will take this one over because yeah, we've been waiting right on this game <laughs> for a long time. You ain't gonna win this, friend. <laughs> You're not the one who's been waiting. And Red Dead is probably one of the few games I played multiple times and beaten multiple times on my Xbox 360. Same when, here. When it came out, one of the few games I've 100 percented. Definitely top. Yeah. It was definitely top five of my favorite games, Red Dead Redemption. And so for like for this game when it finally dropped. I mean, I, I couldn't, couldn't win. I pre-ordered it. I paid the extra money for the Ultimate Edition. All that extra shit, man. I had to. I waited a very long time for this game. And story, I mean, I mean it's Rockstar. Anybody, if you play any of the, like, the GTA games or the other Red Dead games, one thing they always do right is story and voice acting for characters. Yep. They always, I don't know where they get a lot of these actors from, but man, they even when they model the characters, they model the characters to fit them. They do the mocap for the facial expression. Over 120 characters. Uh, 120 actors. 120 actors for a game. <laughs> That's crazy. And the motion cap. And yeah, Rockstar, they don't yeah. know Batman. They, they did not play around with this one. They drop dollar for dime when it comes to casting for these games and making it like perfection as far as story driven. 
and history. That's another thing too. They do great in these Red Dead and the Red Dead games. Is they stick real good to the history of American civilization in the West. Everything getting built up, and we're coming into the era of um, moving into steel and ironworks and all that good stuff from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. You know, other things like you know taking land away from the natives. They cover all that the history. From slavery on up, man, they cover it <laughs> all in the game, dude. And they, they do such a great job with training, with the characters, and sticking close to the source material, too. Um, in detail. I'm all about detail when it comes to games. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, this game has all the detail. From fishing, to <laughs> making sure you eat, so you don't get sick, and watching the weather. You gotta wear warm clothes if it's cold outside. Or you die. Or you, yeah, you die. Exposure. <laughs> that was the thing that people die from, exposure. If you do work. Heavy clothes when it's hot, you go overheat. If you didn't wear enough clothes when it's cold, you freeze in the winter. Um, uh, the animals, everything kills you in the so, goddamn. So, <laughs> so this is pretty much Oregon Trail. Yeah, it's Oregon Trail, the Extreme Edition. Yeah. Right, Oregon Trail, twenty eighteen. But you don't die by dysentery. Right, no. you don't die by dysentery. I mean, Although they do mention it, they do yeah, mention yeah. it. They, yeah. Well, actually, they, now that you mention that, there is uh-huh. a toxicity meter. Yeah, that there I is a found. toxicity meter in there. So you can only get bit by so many snakes. <laughs> yeah, before you get too ill and you heal die. over and die. <laughs> uh, uh, favorite. What's up? Favorite mechanic is drinking hair tonics and watching your beard grow. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> get that beard game up. What's up, Jacob? Uh, from some of the clips I've seen, uh-huh. you know, I'm not, I don't play that game. I don't have a console yet. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's okay. But like, um. They'll I'll forgive you. <laughs> Doesn't mean I will. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, from some of the clips I've seen, uh huh. Um, I saw like a horse spont- like just combust from fire. Like it just a horse combusted from fire. What the hell? <laughs> it just like started burning, bro. Like I don't know. It just started. Uh, you know, was that one of the glitches that they I, were? I don't know. And I've seen a couple. Like I think I played it one time. Like I was riding. I, I returned a cart to a medicine man, and he rode away. And down the street are his medicine bottles just levitating in the air. And I'm just like, eh, you know, I mean, the, the patch will fix that. Yeah. <laughs> There's always small bugs and things, you know, right. glitches that happen. Like a guy in a horse cart riding by and the back wheels are hanging up like he's like doing a stoppie on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> While he rides past, you know, I'm just like, okay. And true <laughs> enough, there are some glitches. There's stuff that I, I, I know is kind of glitch. <laughs> that all that fishing, sometimes the fish gets stuck. Sometimes when you throw the animal fur on the back of the horse, I don't know if this happens to you yet playing it, Zed, but like my horse's legs like went all crazy on me. I was like, what the hell? Like his legs like folded up into his body. <laughs> there was one time I hopped on my horse uh-huh. and I literally teleported a hundred feet away what the on hell? the horse. <laughs> so we're sitting in the middle of this pond. <laughs> I'm on, I'm like, I'm like, 20 feet from this pond. Thank uh-huh. God it was a shallow pond. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like, well, the horse is dead. <laughs> right. <It would've... laughs> so all of a sudden, I'm just like, he's like, all right, girl. Boom. I'm like, mm-hmm. what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm like, fast travel. I'm fine. like, what right. the fast fuck? Fast traveling at its finest. <laughs> I'm like, are, are, are you like Nightcrawler? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Magical horse. <laughs> just jump on there and it spawns you across the map. That's great. I will say this. On uh-huh. the DLC, I want a unicorn. They did it in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, yeah, Undead Nightmare. Did. Undead Nightmare. Uh-huh. I want a unicorn. <laughs> we're going to have to see whenever they decide. To, I mean, the game just dropped. The game, the Boy, game just dropped. The, the <laughs> sci-fi stuff in this game is ridiculous. It's crazy, son. This stuff. There's like, zombies. There's vampires. Bigfoot. Everything. UFOs. All you have to Bigfoot do. Bigfoot return. Yeah, all you have know. to do is get lost in the woods in this game. That's all you have to do. Just get just, lost. Just explore. Yeah, don't even, like, I'm only on chapter three and I just got it. And, like, I've spent hours just roaming the woods, finding new animals, uh, hunting, fishing, running into strangers. That's another thing I like that they so do. The strangers game. and freaks? They brought the it back. Strangers and freaks. So, like, you meet, ran- there's, like, random encounters throughout the game where, like, you meet a guy who got bit by a snake, so you help him. You oh suck the God. poison out of his leg. Or you meet uh, a prisoner that was captured who says they're wrongfully ac- accused, so you can either choose to release them or just let them go to jail and just kind of ignore it. So that's one of the things in the game. Like, there's events, there's something. The world's constantly moving on and developing, and there's things happening all around you. The like, world feels alive. alive. The world definitely feels alive. Definitely. The feels one alive. thing I am, and 
because you know me, I like whiskey. Mm-hmm. The one thing I am grateful they finally put in here because uh-huh. I was annoyed they didn't do it in the first one. What's that? Fanning, pistol fanning. Oh yeah. Because if, if you don't aim kind of and you just start pulling the trigger, yeah, he'll just you just start fanning. He'll fan out the bullets. Yeah. Yeah, the gun, the gunplay on here is great. The first person mode on here is plus the good dual wielding is just amazing. I love, I love how you can dual wield. You can buy the same pistol twice. You can mm-hmm. Dual wield, or you can custom up. You can switch them up, or what I did one time, I had a sawed off double barrel, and uh-huh. then I had just the regular cattleman the revolver, cattleman and I just held him. And just I was like, down. boom! He's like, boom! And then bang! And then <laughs> boom, boom, bang! And it's just like, whoa! Yeah, man. You feel like you're you doing a get damage. Creative. You can get, you can get creative on it, man. It's it's definitely um, action packed. Great story again. I know I'm repeating myself on this. Tons of detail, and it just real quick for the history of like Red Dead. It's like a prequel to the other one. It's the sequel that's a prequel. It's the sequel that's a prequel. So the whole story of the game, Duchess Gang, and I know in the other one you play as John Marston, but yep. in this one you're playing as Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan, and you kind of follow his story and his tale as the far as how the game developed and where they took it from there. So um, I don't think nobody else. You, you, Alex, you got it right. Right, did you? Yeah. How are you liking it so far? Um, I haven't even done any of the story stuff. You know, I did a couple like the missions. One thing I enjoyed is that, mm-hmm. you know, uh, especially when you go into the first town, Valentine. You know, the, the whole thing with the bar, bar fight. Mm-hmm. Go back with Lenny. Go back with Lenny. Yeah, like that. That mission was hilarious. I, I haven't had like so much in there. That was the best <laughs> mission. Uh-huh. Uh, one thing I'm glad they brought back as well. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do it anyways. Was like the bounty missions. You know, you go out yes. find other people, bring oh, yeah, them yeah. back. Mm-hmm. That something. was one of my favorite things to do in the first game. Is you know, it's like oh, go take out his gang and bring it back dead or alive. It doesn't matter. Right. So, you know, just one man. Pew, 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 pew. Well, this one they've gone a little bit more in depth with it because a lot of times they'll prefer you to bring him back alive, depending on the bounty amount. So they're like, yeah, bring him back alive, and then they'll have like a whole little interaction with you and that person. And, and while you're taking them back to the uh, sheriff, they'll try to, like, talk you out of it. Like, hey, why are you doing this? Hit Let circle. Go. You knock them out. Right, yeah. Or you can hit circle. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. So you gotta listen to them. <laughs> like the very first guy, you know, he's selling healing tonics. Oh, yeah, that guy. This is wrong, like, sir. I said be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> toss him in the prison. Uh-huh. You just throw him in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go one ahead. thing I will say idea. is, you know, it's Rockstar, so you know, in the Grand Theft Auto Five, they had gun customization. Mm-hmm. So you know, they put that in there. But the one thing I like the most mm-hmm. is the ammo. The ammo, the different ammo you get. Because you get your yeah, regular yeah. whatever, and then it's like, oh, okay. Well, then you can get heavy loads, incinerary <laughs> rounds, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's slugs. just like, get slugs, slugs for the shotguns. Different arrow heads you can do, arrow tips for your arrows. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like. It depends. Do you want to take this guy out in two shots, or do you want to take him out in one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, I'm going to use some hollow points on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Great game. Anybody who hasn't picked it up yet, take the time to do Ten so. out of ten. I played ten the first one, ten. and the first one was great, even though one time I was driving the wagon, and uh-huh. it glitched, and I hit a little pebble, and the wagon <laughs> fell and flipped. <laughs> Uh-huh. And I had to start the game over. <laughs> okay, that, was in the, that was in the last, the other In the game. first game, yeah. Okay. Oh, one thing I'll say, though. Mm-hmm. When it gets dark in this game, it gets fucking dark. Oh, no, seriously. I have the brightness up to the highest yeah. setting. Nighttime is nighttime. Dude, and yeah, and, and another thing you I... Yeah, look at the stars if you want to see some yeah, light no. No, or the moon. I mean, Do I not get dark. lost yeah. in the woods. And this is the nah. reason why I tell you. Because, you know, oh, you're walking in the woods. Oh, I can't see anything. Let me pull out the lantern. You pull that out, not only can you see, but every predator around, around you, you can now see. Can hunt you down. I was walking in the woods, and a jaguar, or not jaguar, a cougar attacked me. And I was yeah. like, where did this thing come from? I saw that light source. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. And predators, when you're in the woods, they hunt you. No joke. Be aware. Oh, boy. If <laughs> you're with your horse, you while pay you're attention. trying to hunt deer, there's predators that watch you, like wolves, cougars, bears. They watch you while you're interacting in the game, and they wait for the opportunity, and they won't pop up on your screen until, like, the last minute. You'll see, like, a red dot chasing towards you on your little mini-map. Like, oh, uh, my God. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you are not wrong. I, I did yeah, this. They stalk you in the game. I, no did, this, I did this mission. Intense, dude. I did this mission where you go uh-huh. hunting, you go hunting this, like, cougar in a... In a cave with a guy. Uh huh. The legendary cougar. And yeah. he's like, "Well, you go one way and you go another." And I'm like, "Dude, no, let's stay together." <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear, "Wow, 
gunfire. <laughs> and he's like, hey, are you alive? The guy's dead. And I'm like, holy crap. I'm alone in the dark with a light source. Yeah, and that's it. And this thing's a cat. Low light. They can see perfectly fine. I'm like, I am going to die. <laughs> this thing jumps and quick reaction. I died three times trying to do this. Yeah, I did. Quick too. reaction. No. You have to hit circle. You break free and just dead eye headshots all the shoot way the shit out of that i literally and I, and I had two guns on my belt so i literally went boom 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 switch the other one dead eye <laughs> uh, another small thing in the end i do enjoy as well uh-huh. is how you have to take care of your guns uh-huh. that too that yeah. was cool because the more you use know, weapons they, guns you know like they're damaged actually all the stuff you know goes bad you have to use either gun oil or you take it to a guy yep all in all great game 10 out of 10 i spent two hours playing dominoes <laughs> and, that's and, how amazing it is and I only play oh, dominoes with one person yes, you play dominoes in the game I spent like two hours just playing a domino there's a lot of side games in this tons of side games there's, there's, they brought back um, poker blackjack poker, I blackjack. heard I hadn't gotten there yet but I heard they brought back liar's dice and that was my favorite oh, game I love liar's play. dice yeah. I, I could not figure out liar's dice in the first one the hatchet, really? you can throw the hatchets at the targets oh yeah, yeah that was that's cool. another thing they got in there too one thing though mm-hmm they got up the ante in blackjack. I don't want to bet 10 pennies. I want to bet well, those like, are the small tables you're at. Probably when you get in like the bigger cities or you get to like the big gambling areas. Like Blackwater. Like Blackwater or something. Like in the old games, that's when they have like the high rollers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, oh, big money. Big money. All right. Oh, Red Dead. Great game. Buy it. It sounds beautiful. It is beautiful. Get it now. Get it, man. <laughs> Best game out there. Game of the year, guaranteed. Call it now, game of the year. Call it now. When you, when you I, I, next I did say Spider. Spider- I thought Spider Man was gonna be game of the year. I don't know, son. <laughs> this is red. Yeah, Rockstar, Rockstar <laughs> through that. Rockstar curveball. always hits it out of the park. Uh, it's hard to compete against Rockstar. I'll tell you this: things. you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't. But you can't do that to Spider Man. You can't. can't disrespect Spider Man. You can't. No, it's, it's a great, great game. Like that's that's what I kind of hate about is that people are like, oh. Spider-Man sucks now. What? No, they're saying it because of the hype. I know, they, they, because of the hype. No, but, no, like, no. they can't do that to Spider-Man. It's like, look, when I finish Red Dead and I want to take a break, though, I'm going to yeah. go back to Spider-Man. Yeah, because I didn't delete my Spider-Man. I kept Spider-Man, Monster Hunter, and Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got on my plate. And Netflix. And Netflix. And Netflix. And Netflix. I think my Overwatch is still on Netflix. <laughs> But that's it. That's all the games I got right now on my PlayStation now. Yeah, bye-bye, Street need. Fighter. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, Street Fighter. Bye, Justin. How many have... No, I will say this. Uh-huh. It does come with two discs. Yeah, two discs. And discs the, beauty, the beauty of Rockstar uh-huh. is they know about the whole data downloading is a pain. Mm-hmm. So that's why they gave you one disc was data. Yeah, one disc was data. So you didn't and have to spend... One. Like so Eight many, because there was one time I was downloading GTA and it was like sixty-two gigs, and it took me three days to download it. Jesus Christ! That, that's and, and, I, and I had, and, <laughs> and I had, I have okay Wi-Fi. So the fact that it took me that long, imagine if somebody had crap Wi-Fi. Jesus. You'd be sitting there for a month. <laughs> You'd be sitting there like that old AOL downloading a, a, a two megabyte song for two hours. <laughs> but no, it was be- it was great because I was like, oh man, I'm gonna not play this till the end of the week. Two hours later, I check and it's like or an hour later, it's like, please insert the regular game disc. And I'm yeah. like, right away, I'm like, son. Didn't okay, take swap. At all. I'm like, okay, so maybe I'll be able to play it sooner than I thought. You know what that After means? That, that, that's the two that's hours the later. Movie, though. Ready yeah, to play. You know what that means? What's up? Physical media is not dead. <laughs> yeah, that means physical media is not dead. <laughs> that means it's dead. It's dying. This is the... This well, is, for music. This is the proof... <laughs> this Well, this is the proof of concept that the new system for PlayStation is going to change from yeah. CD-based like, to... Like, having CD-based is so much better over having to download all that data that most games require you to do now. Yeah, true. Yeah, so true. you need that like, double disc. Because the read-write speed is just a lot faster. What was that? You have some god tier internet. Like, oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. Google I was fiber. actually. Oh no. Oh, I dude. was actually worried when I saw the two discs. I was like, Oh my god, <laughs> this thing is gonna be amazing. But I remember playing L.A. Noir. That thing was four discs. Oh, plus, so so when I saw that, when I saw the two discs, that was the uh, kind of thing I was like. <gasps> right. Nah, but then yeah. it was like, Oh, data disc, then game disc. I was like, Oh. Yeah. It didn't oh, take long at all. Oh. Okay. Honestly, I can. You need to play Final Fantasy VII. No, sorry. Man, what, what was that, like six disc? Jesus. Yeah, he's not wrong. Oh he my is God. not wrong. That thing came in like a There's one with eight collection. What do you mean? There's one with eight discs. Right. All right, all right. We're going on tangents. You know how we get. 
Quick fire. Ping, 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 ping. Let's get ready to the show. We're finally there. We're finally there. All right. Quick fire. Starting off. Doctor Strange 2. Let's hear it. Yes. Clea. Uh, I've heard that supposedly they're going to start filming around spring uh-huh. of 2019. And also I heard that Nightmare and Mortal might actually be the villains. So. Hmm. That's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good choice. Yeah. It's Nightmare. I, I've also, I mean, this is just like some speculation, but like mm-hmm. some people were saying if they add Nightmare, they could actually make the movie into like a psychedelic horror, you know, type yeah, movie. Yeah, they could. And they can expand in the world even more. And I think it would be pretty cool if they can make it like the first like Marvel Movie. Mm-hmm. That, that means we're like gonna do some drugs and start watching this movie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like they did the last one. <laughs> Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs, kids. Yeah. <laughs> cough, cough. All right, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. What's gonna happen with that? So, so have they picked a director? No, they're, they're gonna put it on hold uh, for production for like 2021. <gasps> right. <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah, and Dave Bautista, I think he might be out. So if you're gonna Batista's make him wait till 2021, I mean, he I he's he, gonna leave James Gunn like that. Yeah. Oh, so he's following. So he's loyal. Yeah, he wants to follow James. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Yeah, now I'm scared. scared. Yeah. Oh boy, you yeah. know what that means? It's all right. Drax, help family. <laughs> 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 he gonna be do both characters. He gonna be Groot and Drax. I am Groot. Family. <laughs> <Ben Diesel. laughs> <laughs> like Drax, you look a little shorter than a little normal. And, and why do you have this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why do you have this dot charger sitting outside? <laughs> 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 <It's laughs> I like this Corona. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to Earth. What is this Corona? <laughs> I like it. I will only drink this. <laughs> he outside barbecuing with a tank top on. <laughs> Out in no, space. No, that's, yeah, that's Star Lord Star was like, oh Drax, you 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 really like Earth, don't you? That's right. That's, that's you guys are my nine prequel right there. <laughs> Galaxy 3. I'll say so right now, uh, Thanos did us a favor. He saw to the future that the shit that the me. movie is gonna go bad. <laughs> so he's like, thanking me right, right now. Y'all need to be thanking me right now. That's what Thanos should be saying. <laughs> All right, uh, the Witcher TV series, first oh, of all. Oh, <laughs> okay, first of all, man. first of all, I think he's going to do a great job. Not in my fault. Hold up. <laughs> Not in my they need fault. to do, they need to fire their Make- makeup artist. Their makeup <laughs> He looks like he's costume. No, 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 the costume, the, the armor he was wearing mm-hmm. looked good. That fake ass wig, Draco <laughs> Malfoy, <laughs> hold on, that Draco Malfoy dad looking motherfucker. <laughs> Got them Legolas. Hair. Yes, <laughs> dude. Yeah, Legolas. It was such a wig. <laughs> it was. So, I was Legolas. like, okay. I, and 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 one thing a friend of mine was telling me it was like, he's too tan. He's yeah. those. He's supposed to be very. Pale. Pale. He's, he's very pale. Yeah, yeah no. Pale. He's he he's he's he looks like from like Sweden. I, 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 I don't know what what's in the yeah in northern or anything. Yeah, northern area. Yeah, it, white hair, very <laughs> pale skin, and it's like I understand he's a he's a buff guy that's outside all the time. But come on, put some. Makeup but yeah, but on. because of the mutagen that turns him into a witcher that hunt monsters, he's supposed to be pale. Yeah, with the cat eyes. That Plus another adds thing. To it. Where's the scars? Yeah. But see, I think they're going to, not to go too deep into it, I think they're just going to do like an earlier version because they're going to base it off of books, I believe, at first. But he still had scars. Um, yeah, but in the first game, he didn't. So the young version of Geralt didn't get that scar. He didn't get that till like later down the road. So that's why he didn't really have the scruffy beard. He was kind of more Well, which is what I thought they would do, he which I'm okay with, but... Just the wig look like ass, like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Anyway, <laughs> so did he drink in that in that clip? Was he drinking swallows? What was that? Because he, he popped yeah, the probably that or cat eye. Because I think his cat eyes, eye. he, drank, he drank cat eye. Well, he didn't even have heart. contacts in. That's what CG effect. Oh, I mean, they did it to his beard. No, look, all I gotta say is eyes. they better have at least contacts in when they're not doing a close up of his. If they're doing a close up of his face and they CG it, if they CG it, son, you can't be here. But if it's far away. Put the contacts in, That's just so just so you don't have to spend that much time. We shall see what happens with it. It was a teaser. We'll leave it at yeah. that. They CG his beard, so it's CG nice. <laughs> exactly. CG his beard. All right, Monster Hunter movie first looks. We oh, had two oh, shots. Oh, oh, oh. What happened? Everybody, let's, let's take a deep breath for this one. Uh huh. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Who wants oh, to go God. first in this All one? Right. So All right. Miles let's... has a positive outlook, so let's let him go first. Okay, the only reason I'm excited is because, you know, my favorite actress is going to be in it. But other than that, it's kind of like... Who? Oh, oh, um, Mila Jovanovich. Yeah, Mila. 
It's also going to play the Blood Queen and Hellboy. Yes. But getting so back good. to topic, I'm uh-huh. just like, Oh, I didn't realize she was gonna be moved. So when I saw it, I was like, I was like, hey! In the picture I saw, she had that. Uh, the slinger. Uh, yeah, the she had the slinger, and I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. But then you guys told me what was going on, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah. So the director. So I'll let you guys take it from there. <laughs> real quick, the director has had this vision of making monsters ha, ha, ha. <laughs> cross worlds. That's not a vision. Of course. That's, that was his vision. That's a lazy writing. That very lazy writing where it enters into our universe like goddamn Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. Hey, my name is Hunter Monster Hunter. <laughs> this is my brother, Monster Hunter Monster. <laughs> and this is my partner, Cat. Cat. <laughs> oh, the po- oh my god, yeah. the polygon. How are they going to do the polygon? Oh my That's god. That's an ugly CGI character. Oh my That's going to look god. terrible. That's you know what they got to do? So terrible. They got to stroll on over to whoever's doing the Star Wars movies. That's like, yo, how'd you do these cute little animal things? Son. Now they're going to get Garfield, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield animated movie. <laughs> Bill Murray better be a voice in one of them. I hate Mondays. Bill Murray, if, if they do that, Bill Murray better be voice of one of Where's the rap for those guys? <laughs> well, it's in the hole. I think he's over there in the sky. Now, oh, be careful. Okay, if they wanted, okay, so if they're going to do the whole, you know, the dude comes with his little M16, whatever he has, that's not going to be worth shit. E90. He's going to be basically shooting spitballs at this guy. Yeah, pretty much. Like, literally, he's going to be tickling He's like, dude, what is this? It's like little mosquito yeah, bites. Exactly. So am I going to see some guy with a sword Three times bigger than his body, just go ah, and just like swing. Well, better, that better. Because I don't, I, I don't know if what his vision is. It's gonna be the new Drax family. <laughs> Jumping off the thing. What's that movie with the dragon with Matthew McConaughey? Matthew oh, McConaughey. Rain of Fire. Rain, Rain of Fire. Fire. I love that movie. But yo, I know what you're talking about when when he's like, she's gonna be coming in fast, and he's like, with the flying ah. axe. Yeah, he jumps in the dragon's mouth. They ain't gonna do none of that. Yeah. They do that. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna laugh so hard. And if, I don't know if these monsters are gonna be huge. Are they these these things better be huge. Are they gonna look yeah. like? I mean, my question like is like prehistoric. Like, I mean, because with Monster Hunter, most of the monsters look like dinosaurs. That's kind of the yeah. theme with them, yeah. and dragons. So I, I hope he keeps that and not gives us like monster he's monsters. Gonna monsters. He's, he's gonna give us monsters. monsters. I assume that much. Well, it's Hollywood. They're gonna give us the okay, so Here's my final thing. Is this gonna, have they said it's gonna be a multi-part movie or is it gonna be a single movie? So oh. I assume one movie. But are they so already they, planning up like a freaking Donald, some kind of like trilogy. sequel for that, like a trilogy? Then they because if they're up. if they're gonna do something like a trilogy, then they got to sign really hard. That's going to either please people or make them mad. No, they, you know if they do a sequel or a trilogy, they're going to obviously throw in the fact that it's going to be an Elder Dragon. Yes, they yeah. need to have at least You know what they're going to do? They have to. I'm that throwing shade on one of your favorite movies, but they're going the Resident, Resident, Evil, Resident Evil route. Yeah, I was going to say that too. And Rip Wesker. <laughs> okay, look, all I got to say is that last movie was trash. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, Toy Story 4. <laughs> I don't know why they're going to Oh, boy. <laughs> no, I, I know. Look, I'll agree. I'll agree. You No, I will, I will agree with Lamp. Reach for the sky. Reach for the sky. I will agree with Lamp on, I don't know why they're continuing. They keep doing it. Because the, the third one, they ended it. That's the end of the story with Andy. That was the whole Tom. thing of Toy Story. Because you know those people got to milk you. First of all, we all know it's gonna be good in one way or another. True. Yeah. Yeah. This is undeniable fact. Right. Pixar, Pixar does, does Pixar. justice. Well, they're gonna but do this, something for them. This is like well, gonna, how far? Without, how far? What? Without uh, what's his name? Oh yeah. Who? Who? Uh, the 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 what was, what was his name? The one that created Pixar. Lasseter. John Lasseter. Oh yeah. That's oh yeah. Right, you told me. Disney. <laughs> or Pixar. Oh, yeah, because he was you know. Out. Touching, touchy feeling. He was getting yeah, a he was part of that whole. Yeah, he spent too much time in Disney World. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. But you know what? He's but the yeah, one. He's, he's the one that touched in everybody's heartstrings in those movies. Yeah. Yeah. So remember yeah. that. Remember, he was touching remember, heartstrings, remember. but he was also touching other things. Yeah. Yeah. All I got to say, not giving no five dollar foot long. I'll be good. Jeremy's <laughs> <laughs> back, boys. Jeremy's back, y'all. Bring it in here to the six feet five. Oh my oh, god. god. Mm, what so you want? What yeah, you want all to I want to say is that if they're gonna continue with this Toy Story, they better not add Buzz or um, Woody. Let's get a new cast. He's in it because I don't know. Tom Hanks released an article saying it's the final scene he did was very scene. yeah, yeah. It's Woody. Game. 
tearing open, his, right. his rope breaking. Probably taking him apart or something. I don't know. What? Which I don't one? Know. Yeah. I was going to say that. Like, you know, turning that his, Tom Hanks thing. Yeah. yeah, he was turning his back away from all the voice actors and actresses because he was getting too emotional. Know, he, he said, he said who's for the final... Mis- hold on, hold on. Who's going to do Mr. Potato Head? Oh, Come on. That's a good question. R.I.P. Don Rickles. That's a good question. Come on. Can't, you can't replace Don, Don Rickles. Rickles. You sure can't. You can't replace Don Rickles. Time to start scrapping the audio. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe all the toys are getting <laughs> trash. Maybe the toys oh, are just my, getting trash. Bro, Jesus. they won't do this to Mr. Potato Head. Be like, what happened to Mr. Potato Head? You know, it's the easy way out. They Bro, just that's messed move. up. They make yeah, the loser's mouth. That's the lazy way out. The lazy way out, yeah. And the, they, they try to find change. them a new... Right, every new mouth they find is a different voice, like Bumblebee or some shit. <laughs> I heard about the plot, though. The plot was supposedly, uh-huh. um, what are you trying to find, Bobby? Like, that's... Bobby? Oh, yeah. 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 Bobby. She did exist, didn't she? Yeah, remember she was in the what? first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. supposedly the, uh, the plot of the movie revolves uh, of him trying to find her uh, mm-hmm. where she went. But, but why? Did he accepted that she's... No longer with uh, them. I don't know. know. We gotta watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta see what happens. We, okay, we only got a little taste <laughs> teaser of it. Regardless of what's your yeah. favorite picture? Mm-hmm. I believe they'll do well, but they fucked this up. I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> 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 He's gonna write an Just angry keep, letter. Keep we're we're gonna show us how to pick star with I'm like make a Twitter account with like <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you hack the intercom Dear system. Toy Story picks <laughs> you hack the intercom <laughs> system. The guy's gonna be the director's gonna be sitting at the place late at night. Reach for the sky. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> just see, just see, like a guy dressed up as Woody outside staring in, going, "There's a snake <laughs> in my <laughs> boots." <laughs> All right. Uh, while we're still rolling on the animation train here, spies in disguise. Oh boy, oh, Mike Tyson boy. mysteries the movie. <laughs> 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 Yo, this movie came out of nowhere. Seriously, it totally it really did. I was like, "What is this?" Right. I, I, I thought you know I was watching it. Who's 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 making this? What? Who's oh, this? I think it's the same guys who make Despicable Me. Blue Skies. Blue Skies. Okay. Blue Skies. Who knows? 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 No, no, that was that was DreamWorks. That was oh, that yeah. was DreamWorks. Okay, all right. Go I think ahead. it was DreamWorks. Uh, was it Will Smith who's like the main dude? Yeah. 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 I only saw the trailer once. I could barely hear the audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold it's, on, it's, it's, it's Will Smith. Go ahead. That man is informing me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying yes. Hey, he but not just that. Right now? When that when that he movie going on, yeah. when that I never I never heard of this. I was just watching YouTube videos and, and that video up. popped up. Yeah. That's and right. I, when I first saw that, I was like. Adrian's Alba? Adrian James Bond? <laughs> Adrian James Bond, y'all want it. Right? He turned down that rope. That's what I thought. I was like, what? He turned down the rope to do the like animation, uh, animated version of it? <laughs> Which I'm still, I'm still upset about. It don't, but it, as they continue, I was like, uh-huh. okay, it looks nice. Yeah, no, it looks clean. And, and then I was like, but who voices this guy? Because I was, I was thinking it was Adrian's Alba for real. <laughs> and, and, then, and then when they talked, I was like, Will Smith? Yeah, right. What? Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> the genie. What? Who? What's the movie? Huh? Tom Tom Holland. Yeah. yeah. Tom Holland's yeah. in it too. Yeah. Tom he Holland's turns in it. him into the pigeon. Yep. He's the one that turns him. It's like a little scientist in the trailer that turns him into a pigeon. Man, even, even, even outside, outside Spider Man, he's still Spider Man. I know, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, <it's still> <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> I hate the fact that they like showed everything in that trailer. I'm no, like, I agree with what? you. What? Totally. Like they yeah. should have kept the whole. They should have, yeah. They should have kept it like under secret. wraps until yeah. you watch the movie. Right. Or you think you're seeing it. Or the full, or the you know the full trailer teaser because this is a teaser. And right. They just yeah. showed yeah. everything. They just showed everything. It's a cool. teaser. Or give you hints, but don't actually show the actual clip. Like you know what I mean? Right. 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 What's up? Um, okay. Those guys didn't make Storks. It was um the Warner Brothers animation. That did storage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. That was Warner Brothers? Yeah. That was Warner Brothers? Oh, I, I thought, thought it was in DreamWorks, did it? No. I thought, I thought he thought DreamWorks. Uh, I was wrong. I don't want to really I admit that. I was okay. wrong. That storage was cool. I thought storage no, was cool. I, I love storage. Storage was amazing. His character was always. Storage was the one that the bro couldn't like stop a lot. Yeah, he kept quoting it. There was no game. There was no game. It was so hilarious. Hey, bro, hey. That's all right, and uh, Spider Man DLC. That's all you care. That's all you care, oh, boy. Yeah. What time? What time we have? <laughs> Go ahead, oh, turn it out. Black Cat. All right, you want okay DLC? Yeah. How is your latex? It. <laughs> <laughs> it it's is nice. It, is it form fitting? 
Is it? I'll tell you what, she's not regular. <laughs> yeah. Boy, when she when she came, they show back set that every you know, every scene with her is back set. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do in the comics too with Black Cat. Yeah, but this, this Black Cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. I, I fell in love with this cat real fast. How many scenes, Kevin? It's a lot of scenes. He <laughs> lost count. count. He was I lost count. Uh, no, but like, overall, how, overall, how okay. Yeah. It's actually really good. It makes you go back to play Spider Man. Okay. It did his job. It did his job. Did yeah, his job. I. Hmm? You played it. Yeah, no, I, I played the game. I just had played the DLC uh, yet, but well, I beat it. So, but it's not. But it wasn't that long. It was pretty short. It's pretty short. Okay. So you know, most people be like, "Oh, it's short." Mm, right. But it's actually pretty good, and it makes you want to play more. And it's a uh, be continued. Mild spoilers, but it's be, be continued. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, so it's a. So I guess the whole DLC is one big story. Oh, okay. I oh, so it's gonna continue with the other DLCs that are coming. Out. And it, I'll tell you this: it does have new challenges. I'm okay. not gonna tell you who does who are doing them, but it's New pretty challenges. cool. Yeah, the challenge was pretty cool. They're they're hard. <laughs> this one this one's pretty pretty hard than than the one that you do in the uh, what with Taskmaster. With Taskmaster, yeah. Okay. So Fine. <laughs> Looking forward to it. And, uh, oh, and not right. just that, not just that. The new game plus, uh-huh. you better play new game plus because you get to play that game on style with all the suits. Nice. All your weapons, oh, I'm everything. Sorry. Every day, I'm sorry, yo. Now we're done. All right, y'all. I think we are officially finito. Yeah. 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 podcast. Episode four, baby. Woo! Thank y'all for listening. Thank you very much. No hiccups this time. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sailing. All right, guys. Catch us next time. Hello, peasants, and thank you for listening to Six Frames Podcast. You can email us at sixframepodcast at gmail.com. Six Frames Podcast at gmail.com. Come check us out on our YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified. You can also find us on Podbean and follow and rate us on Apple Podcast. Also, join us on our social media platforms. It's Six Frame Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Goodbye, humans.